good morning. Welcome everybody. Thank you, Jesus. I want to take this opportunity to welcome everybody on all the platforms that we are broadcasting on all across our social media platforms on youtube and on facebook as well as everybody on tiktok you are welcome please let's tap on the screen let's share the live broadcast are you ready to pray hallelujah is somebody ready to waste their wastes this evening hallelujah if you are tuning in from whatever country you're tuning in from let me know so that i can know what time it is there where you are i am broadcasting from south africa in pretoria and it is midnight the first of july hallelujah father we are ready we are able father we thank you holy spirit thank you for honoring this meeting oh god thank you for everybody that has awoken this morning hallelujah Rosato please let me know where you are tuning in from let me know where you are watching me from what country what city what state are you from hallelujah let's welcome each other so that you know that all nations are represented this evening hallelujah hallelujah let's all welcome each other kenya welcome kenya i see kenya is here i saw kzn is definitely here namibia jamaica good morning good morning zambia lusaga malawi mchinji welcome grahamstown eastern cape welcome Welcome, Nell Sprades. Welcome. Hallelujah. I see Kenya is in its numbers. Johannesburg, South Africa. Talk to me. Where are my South Africa people? Are you here with me? Hallelujah. Wow, this is amazing. Guys, let's make sure we are sharing live right off the bat. We are sharing. We're going to have a straight three hours of amazing spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. We are going to be asking the Lord to fight our battles. Hallelujah. We are going to be fighting the waste we are going to be fighting the time wasters we're going to be fighting opportunity wasters we are going to be fighting anything that has been causing a delay hallelujah we are going to be activating the god of vengeance today hallelujah the spirit of the lord is going to speak this evening this morning hallelujah hallelujah so don't mind me when i go evening or morning it's because i'm representing different countries at the same time good morning Devin. how are you doing we are ready fight my battle somebody type in the comment section lord fight my battles lord fight my battles lord fight my battles come on somebody i'm already hot just off the mark already lord fight my battles hallelujah i guess i can't go into the into the battlefield on the battle ring with a jacket this evening or this morning hallelujah lord fight my battle facebook are you ready for me youtube are you ready for me lord fight my battles i see facebook is off the mark they're already charged up hallelujah fortune online you know how we do it every tap is a king is a is a soul in the kingdom of god every tap every share we are populating the kingdom of god and depopulating hell i have no doubt that there is that one word where god is going to speak for you god is going to speak for you tonight hallelujah god is going to say a word and remember one word is all you need for your matter to be settled hallelujah one word is what you need today if there is one word i have no doubt that the holy spirit is going to speak to every single person that is in this place we are not leaving until that is done in jesus mighty name if we have to stretch it we will stretch it to the extent that god allows amen somebody lord fight my battles if somebody is coming in late into the broadcast let them know what we are talking about thank you so much mucha from facebook you are already off the bat lord fight my battles i'm going to start immediately because I don't want to waste time. We already have more than 200 people who are already live. I know that if every single person shares with at least one person, we can double that number. If you share with at least 10 people, because we're not stingy with our data, are we now? Let's make sure we are sharing and we are tapping on the screen continuously. Make sure you are engaging with me in the comment section so that I can see what you are demanding from the anointing. Hallelujah. I came fired up. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, there is no enemy that is going to dislodge me or just try to dislocate me from the plan that you have to free your people today my god my god i 
thank you, Lord, for using me as a vessel. Father God, count me as a vessel of honor tonight and this morning. Father, to free your people and to help somebody, Lord. Somebody who was about to give up this morning. Father God, let them come in with the fighting spirit. Father, because you reward those who are already victorious, oh God. Because those who are who are aware of their victory straight, Father God, they, their confidence is lifted up and they are ready to fight, Father God. And when we fight, we fight to win, Father God. We want to go to the end uh, of our life the same way as the Apostle Paul said, Lord, that we have finished our race, we have fought our fight, and now is laid up for us a crown of glory. Hallelujah. We are we are going for our crowns. We are going for our triumph. Come on, somebody. Come on, Fortune Online. Come on, let's triple that figure. Come on, let's, let's make sure we are populating the kingdom of God this morning. Everybody on TikTok needs to wake up. Everybody needs to wake up. Facebook, talk to me. Everybody, this midnight hour, this midnight season. Come on, somebody. The God of Vengeance. Somebody type God of Vengeance. God of vengeance, hallelujah. Is somebody ready to call on the Lord of God of vengeance? The God of vengeance is ready to fight for you. God is going to fight your battles, hallelujah. I want you to keep it focused in your mind that you, God is going to fight your battles. And as the Lord is fighting your battles, you understand that you're activating a type of vengeance that comes from God, a vengeance that will fight for you and your family. Talk to me, somebody, hallelujah. My God, Exodus chapter 14, verse 14 says, The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14 says, The Lord shall fight for you, and you will hold your peace. Oh, somebody needs to understand that God says, Go and take a juice. Go and just sit under the sun. Go and bask in the glory of God. He says, I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to get my hands dirty for you. All I need is for you to speak. You just activate me. I've given you the remote control to speak to me. Talk to me. So when you know that you are dear to God, you cannot be defeated. You cannot be defeated by any devil. When you are dear to God, when you know that you are close to God, you are in alignment with God, you are, not, you are in alignment with his will, you know that you can dare any devil, you can dare any demon that has been oppressing you. Talk to me, somebody. When you know that you are expensive to God. What do you mean expensive, Pastor Fortune? I mean that you are valuable. God counts you so valuable that he sent his only begotten son to die for you. That is an ultimate price. Somebody paying with the blood. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm redeemed. My God, the Lord shall fight for you. The Lord shall fight for you today. Oh God of vengeance, arise. My God, if you, are, if you know that you are expensive and you are valuable to God, you cannot be expended out of life. Things that are expensive are things that are hopefully lasting. They are not fake. They are originals. Hallelujah. They are quality. Therefore, you are not expendable out of life. You will not be expended out of your life in the name of Jesus. You need to understand that child of God, God is in the business of preserving lives of his children. He does not want to see your life squandered. He does not want to see your life wasted. He does not want to see any time wasted. He does not want to see you wasting any opportunity. Talk to me. Somebody say it again in the comment section. Oh Lord, fight for me. God, fight for me. Thank you, Jesus. He's committed to the preservation of your life. I'm redeemed. I'm expensive. I'm not expendable. Hallelujah. I can never be expended out of life in Jesus' mighty name. God is not only interested in the battles that he's going to fight for you, but he's also interested in fighting those battles for you. Not only does he understand that there might be battles that are coming your way that you will have to fight, but he knows that he has to fight for you as well. God, you need to understand that the audacity of God, what God is saying in this scripture, he's saying he's ready to kill for you. He's ready to make sure that you survive if anybody tries to touch you. That is why he says he will take care of dealing with those that curse you. So I feel sorry for those that curse you this evening, this morning. Hallelujah. Because God is going to fight some battles. We are just going to fulfill scripture. We are just going to prophesy this thing through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When Korah and Dathan and Abraham rose up against Moses in the challenge and confrontation Moses, Moses ordered the people to step away from them. My God. And decreed that. He said, if Korah and, and Dathan and Abraham died natural deaths, then God did not send him. He said, if these people who are confronting me, if they don't die natural deaths by a certain particular time, that means God did not send me. And God honored his words. So you need to understand that your words carry power.
So whatever you will say today, whether you are saying it in the comment section or whether you are going to say it later when I open up the comment box and I bring you up in the box, I need you to understand that you frame your words according to the creative realities of God. You need to understand that everything that you say, whether you are saying it casually, intentionally, negligently, recklessly, it is going to take effect. So you need to count your words when you say it. Because when Moses was annoyed with people who were confronting him and fighting him, he said, if these people who are daring me and, and, and confronting me and playing silly around, around me, if they don't die, that means God did not send me. And God said, I cannot not honor the words of my prophet Moses. I'm going to make sure that they are dead. And when they woke up dead, God, people knew that God was with them. So whatever it is, whatever missile you are firing, whatever direction you are firing tonight or this morning, hallelujah, you need to understand that the Lord is ready to execute it. You need to understand that the angels are ready. They are ready to execute exactly what you need to do or what you want to happen. My God. If the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them, that's exactly what he bid for. He's truly called of God. Hallelujah. He's a fearful God. He's able to swallow up your enemies. My God, if you can open up your mouth, he says, I will fill your mouth with the words that you need to say. Hallelujah. Before Moses finished speaking, the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up. Numbers chapter 16, in case you think that I don't know where that is. Because I'm, I, number 16 proves to you that we have the authority to speak certain things. Because when people activate certain things in their lives, they are triggering death. So when we pray some of these prayer points, it's not because we are just on a rampage to become murderers. No, 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 no. This is what happens when you touch the Lord's anointed. And the Lord will do exactly what you say. My God. So whatever witness we need to get in scripture as we go in and pray, we're going to be preaching and praying all along. We're going to be declaring hallelujah. And we're going to go into massive prayers. We're going to go into the massive prayers. We're going to push in the spirit. The Lord will prophetically release words for different people. My God, God, fill my mouth with the words that I need to, to, to say this morning. Yes, Frida, God bless you, somebody. Beloved, you need to understand that when you are dear, dear to God, as I said, you, are, you can dare the devil. You are God's sweetheart. You are dear to him. Therefore, you can dare the devil. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, I'm valuable. My words count in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the month of July shall favor you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have stepped in into a lethal month. This is the month of execution, child of God. We have stepped in into a lethal month of perfection all round in Jesus' mighty name. My God, you need to understand that the value you carry, the expensiveness of yourself, of your, of your nature, you cannot be thrown away just like that. My God. Nobody throws away valuable things into a trash can. Nobody trashes things that are valuable into a trash can. So you are not going to be thrown away. So anybody who thought and treated you like waste this morning, I feel sorry for them because we're going to release missiles and we're going to say, God, waste my wasters. Anybody who has been trying to treat me like waste, anybody who's been trying to treat me like trash, Father God, I am not meant for the trash can. I am not rubbish. I am not dumb. And this morning, Father, I rise in, the, in this morning to declare and decree that I'm valuable of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If your value before God is intact and you, you need to understand that you cannot be discarded by any witch, you cannot be discarded by any wizard. Talk to me, somebody. I decree to you today that God shall fight for you. Oh, God of vengeance, come on, somebody. Activate the vengeance of the Lord. God shall fight for you. You are not a wasteable material. You cannot be wasted in Jesus' name. Somebody declare it in the comment section. I cannot be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cannot be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm not expendable. My God. I am not expendable. I cannot be wasted. God will fight for you, goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, waste my wasters this morning. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. He says, neither give room to fear. He says, do not fear because some people want to fear what they are fighting. No, we shall not fear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do not fear what confronts you. He says, remain consist consist consistently on assignment. Remain consistently on assignment. Do not shift. Remain consistently on the assignment with which I set you out to do. He says, remain consistently on the relationship that you are in with me. Remain in the sonship relationship that you have with me. Because when you are in the sonship relationship, the sun will surely shine brighter and brighter for you. You need to know that I'm always fighting for you, says the Spirit of the Lord. Lord, I thank you for your interest in every single person that is represented in this place. Everybody who's at the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we hand over the battles of our lives to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we prophesy, oh my God. We declare it and we decree it. We say, waste our wasters, Lord. We will not be wasted. If anything is going to be wasted, it's the devil who's been fighting us. The devil who's been confronting us. God, waste our wasters, my God. Waste those who have been confronting us. Father God, whoever has meant evil for us, let them, let them fall on their own sword of evil in Jesus' mighty name. Father, my God, I raise a declaration right now and recreate everybody's world right now. I say, my God, my fighting God, my God of vengeance, confront those who are confronting us in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout it in the comment section and say, confront my confronters. Oh my God, come on, call on your God to confront your confronters. Confront that which is confronting me in my life. Whether it is a human being or is an object or is a thing. My God, confront that thing which is confronting my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give me victory, Lord. Give me victory. Confront that thing that is confronting me in Jesus' mighty name. In the book of Nahum, I started from chapter 1, verse 2 to 3. He says, the Lord is a jealous and avenging God. He says, I am the protecting and demanding God who demands what is rightfully and uniquely mine. You are mine. I have chosen you. I'm a jealous God. He says, I'm a God that avenges. I'm a God that is full of wrath. That is why sometimes the type of anger and the wrath that we could ever possibly conceive as ourselves when somebody is confronting us can never equate to the type of wrath that God is ready to release. Talk to me, somebody. He says, I'm the Lord that avenges. I mean, Nahum chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. He says, I'm the Lord that gives vengeance. I'm avengers. I'm the one who's to, to do the revenge for you. Mm -mm. You will not have to fight in this battle. Your only fight is in the mouth. Just say it. You just tell God who it is and what it is. And he says, I will revenge for you. I'm going to do the revenge on your behalf. He says, I am full of wrath. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries. Anybody who's fighting you is an adversary to God. And God is going to fight them in Jesus' mighty name. He says, I am the Lord. Yes, I'm slow to anger because I'm a patient God. I am the essence of patience and great in power. You need to understand that I not only have patience, but I'm also great in power. So I only release the right amount of power anytime accordingly. So if anybody touches you, if anybody chooses to be your adversary, if I need to re release missiles, ballistics, uh, uh, volcanic um, uh, weapons, I will do so in Jesus' name. My God. The Lord has his way. The Bible says the Lord has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are dust beneath his feet. So the storm that you're going through, he says, I have my way. I will do exactly what I want with that storm. If I want to make that storm a tornado against your adversaries, I'm ready to do that this morning. Talk to me, somebody. My sword shall be satiated with blood. Isaiah 34. Indeed, I will come down for judgment on Edom and the people who I have doomed for destruction. God is saying, I'm coming down right there in Jamaica. I'm coming down. I'm coming down in South Africa. I'm coming down in Kenya, Africa, Europe, wherever you are. I'm coming down to, 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 to America. My sword shall be satiated with blood to make sure that I bring destruction. If th that, that which I have doomed for destruction, your adversaries will have to contend with God. They have, you, we ha you, ha you have been praying. You have been very nice to them up until now. But it's time for them to step off and step out. My God, my God. 
Zakoria Masonda. He says the sword of the Lord is filled with blood from the sacrifices. It drips with fat with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of the rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Bozra. Oh my God. They shall be slaughtered. The Lord, I like verse 8 of this scripture. It says, uh, I mean Isaiah 34, verse 8 says, For the Lord has a day of vengeance. There's a day of vengeance. A year of retribution for the cause of Zion. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you hearing what the Spirit of the Lord is saying? He says, the Lord has a day of vengeance. There is a day of vengeance. And on that day of vengeance, it will be a year of retribution for me and you. My God, somebody shout to the Lord and tell him, the Lord, this is the day of vengeance. This is the day of vengeance. This is indeed the day of vengeance. He says, there shall be recompensation. There shall be retribution. There shall be vengeance. There shall be payment double for your trouble. There shall be recompensation. There shall be retribution. There has to be retribution. There has to be a judgment that speaks for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. Father, I thank you. Today, no soul will return, not understanding that you are the God of vengeance. Lord, let them experience the purpose of your vengeance. Father, let them understand your ways of vengeance. Father God, help them put, put words in their mouth so that they can execute the vengeance that you are. Do you understand that you serve a God that is loving? He's all loving. He's all caring. He's all sweet and all that and cushion. He's just like a marshmallow God. But when he decides to war, he says, I'm the Lord of hosts. I am the Lord. I am the one. I'm the commander in chief. When I decide to fight, I fight. So it's better that you stay on my right side and you just love on me and you just worship me and you just praise me. But when you step off and you touch my kids, then I'm going to have to deal with you. My God, some parents who are in this broadcast, you need to understand that some of your kids are running uh, as if they are losing their mind because you are not rising to fight for them. You need to understand and take your template from the template of God and fight for your children. You fight for that addiction in Jesus' mighty name. You fight for that addiction to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's not only in talking to them in the physical i need you to go and launch out and fight in the spirit realm and today you activate and you say my god my god i did not give birth to a drug dealer or a drug user or an alcoholic abuser in the mighty name of jesus christ father god this child shall be redeemed let that child even have nightmares if they think of being rebellious or doing those things that are off key my God, somebody shout the vengeance of the Lord and say, God, give me retribution on these things. I did not give birth to this. I gave birth to good, to good kids. I gave birth to good kids. My God, this is not my life. God bless you, Mom Sophie. My God, we serve a God who's a God of vengeance. We serve a God that says, I have a specific day of vengeance. And today is the day of vengeance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, I execute vengeance on purpose. If that thing that you have called me for this morning, is that thing that you have woken up for this morning is the type of thing that will release the purpose of God. That is exactly, that is the type of vengeance that I'm qualified to execute. My God. So you need to understand, child of God, that there is a necessity for vengeance. Hallelujah. He executes the vengeance to react to different actions of the enemy. Hallelujah. There's things that the enemy has been doing for you. So if the enemy has given him purpose and legal right for access, my God, it's not my problem. My God, I say I need retribution this morning. Somebody say I need retribution. Somebody type in that comment section and say, God, give me judgment. I need justification. I need judgment today. I need you to fight for me. I need a win today. My God. He executes that vengeance because he has to react to and, and he has to reward you for anything that the enemy has done against you. He says, I will execute my vengeance for people to see the rewards of righteousness because these ones who have woken up are the children of righteousness. <clears throat> I have to reward their righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This morning, God wants to deal with everybody that has been mocking you. Everybody that has, has been mocking you. He says, I will reward your righteousness. I will, I, I'm, the, I'm the God that is going to execute vengeance for the termination of every controversy. 
every controversy, every contradiction, every conflict for my people. Yes, Noni, God is going to give you judgment. Wanda, it is time God gives you judgment once and for all. Wanda, it's time to move. And I know you can decode that. There is more to you. I need to see more. That's what the Spirit of the Lord says. There's more. Execute. There's so much that you are carrying. He says, I'm a God that executes vengeance because I need to rescue some people. I need to rescue some people this morning. I need to rescue some people from abusive relationships. God bless you, Tepiso. I need to rescue some people from diagnoses that are, are threatening their, 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 their spirit man. Your heart has been troubled because you are not understanding the diagnosis that you received. I need, I need to execute vengeance, my God, to rescue those who need healing in their bodies. It's not time to check out. I speak to the spirit of cancer. It is not time. You are not going to eat away at that body in Jesus' mighty name. You have to flee. I command cancer to flee in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The day of recompense is here for you, Brenda, in the name of Jesus Christ. The day of recompense is here for you, Brenda, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. He says, I execute vengeance because I need to make sure that my people shall be delivered. May the Lord deliver you, Nora, in the name of Jesus. He says, I execute vengeance so that my people shall experience breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, rescue me, O God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the Lord says, if you fear me, I will execute vengeance for you. If you reverence me, I will execute vengeance for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says, I will execute vengeance for the lifting up of the standard against the flood. I don't know what flood has been coming. My God, my God, I saw it. Rambina, the Lord is rescuing this morning. The Lord is rescuing you. He says he will lift up a standard against the enemy. He says, I'm executing vengeance that will lift up the standard against the flood. Can somebody see that you, you are going through the flood, but you will not be drowned? Jesus, my God. The fear of the Lord is what qualifies you in demise. My God, my God. Because you have feared the Lord so much in demise, he is going to go come through for you. 2023 is going to be your best year ever. My God. The Lord is going to use you mightily. Oh my God. He says, I'm a God that executes vengeance for the establishment of the comfort and elimination of sorrow from my people. Somebody say, sorrow, get out of my life. Sorrow, get out of my life. You will live in comfort because the Lord is going to execute vengeance for you in Jesus' mighty name. Ah, Rabba Shukodia Masata. The strength of the enemy shall be deleted for your sake in Jesus' mighty name. There shall be no sorrow in your life anymore. He says, I'm ready to fight, Huiti. I'm ready to fight, Mam Sophie. Frida, sorrow is getting out of your life. Marike Lady, sorrow is getting out of your life. Mimi, sorrow is getting out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh my God. God, execute vengeance for us, oh God. My God. He says, I will execute vengeance against the conspirators. I will execute vengeance against those who are persecuting you. I will execute vengeance for all your enemies. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you, Jesus. God will execute that vengeance for you. This is a fulfillment of scripture. This is just purely a fulfillment of scripture in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karaba Sotakadia. Luke chapter 21 verse 22 says, For these are the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Somebody, 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 if you can look at it, Luke chapter 21 verse 22. 
He says, these are the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. These are the days of vengeance. Enough is enough. Somebody type in the comment section, enough is enough. When you have reached the point of enough is enough. He says, this is the day of the vengeance when I will make sure that all things that are written may be fulfilled. What are the things that are written, Pastor Fortune? It is written of you that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. It is written of you that all his promises are yes and amen. It is written of you that you shall have victory. It is written of you that you are a city set upon a hill which cannot be hid. It is written of you that you are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. It is written of you that you will crush the head of the enemy. It is written of you that you will trample upon serpents and not shall by any means harm you. It is written of you that you will drink of poison and nothing shall harm you. It is written of you that you will open your mouth and condemn those who are accusing you and God shall condemn them. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. It is written. My God. Oh, nothing beats the written word. Because the written word gives you the evidence that you need. The written word fulfills prophecy. Anything that you say, we confirm it with the written word. My God, my God. Those of you who are coming for the first time, this is the protocol breaking prayer platform. Hallelujah. This is the altar of protocol breaking prayers where we pray prayers that are aligned with the written word. And when we know we're prophesying and we prophesy according to the written word, we have every confidence that surely he who has begun a good thing is faithful enough to make sure that it shall be performed and executed and it shall manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the, this is the altar where we don't come joking. We come with the repentant heart. We come with a repentant heart and everything in us knows that we want to be aligned to God. It, this is an altar for hungry people. I don't know if you came across this broadcast hungry enough or you just came to want to get a quick microwave prophetic word. Hallelujah. That it doesn't take effect if you don't apply the word with it. Oh, God of vengeance. Fulfill scripture for us this morning. He will execute vengeance for the confirmation of the righteousness of God. He says, I'm the righteousness of God. But those who are in right standing for me, I will confirm by my vengeance and I will establish them. My God, my God. He says, those who are walking in covenant with me shall make sure, I will make sure that I, 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 I revenge them. I, they, there will be retribution. It is written. Yes, you are being free from debts. It is written. We are not going to be enslaved to debts anymore. We are going to align ourselves. And we are going to rise above. My God, my God. Provision shall come from the Lord. And the Lord shall open up the windows of heaven. The Lord shall open up your eyes, your ears, and your mind. You will have strategies as you step into the month of July. Get ready for your best month ever. This is the month that you have been waiting for, business people. You have been waiting for God to execute. My God, my God. Those who thought your business was shutting down, they've got yet something else to see. God bless you, those who are giving Jesus' mighty name. This is the day of vengeance. This is the day when you make demands on the God of vengeance to show himself. I want you to say it in the comment section and say, God of vengeance, show yourself. My God. Father, this morning, I rise to declare and decree that we want your deliverance. We ask for your deliverance. Let your mercy arrive on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we want your recompensation, O oh God. We, it's time for us to get recompensated. It's time for us to be paid back for what we have gone through. Oh, Lord of vengeance. Vengeance belongs to you. And we ask that you show yourself. Show yourself, God of vengeance, this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I rise and I declare. I decree it and I declare it right now. In Jesus' mighty name. To everybody who's at the sound of my voice and under the influence of my voice, Father, I pray. Every death that has been looking for us, every death that has been looking for our family members, Father, we command that, that it shall be swallowed up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. Father, thank you, Lord, that you're going to wipe away the tears with your power, by your power in Jesus' mighty name.
This morning, oh God, we take back the crowns that you have given us, oh God, that the enemy had taken away. We take back our crowns of glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we, 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 this morning, we are receiving the garment of beauty. We are receiving our garments of beauty tonight. Whatever has made us ugly, whatever has made us ashy, oh God, we are receiving the garment of beauty for our ashes in Jesus' mighty name. The ashes are being wiped off in Jesus' mighty name. The tears are being wiped off in Jesus' mighty name. So God of vengeance, we ask that you arrive now. Arrive for Stephanie. My God, wipe the tears of Julie in Jesus' mighty name. Wipe the tears from Rambina in Jesus' name. Magora basoto kodi ama sata kali abasoto dolodoboshia. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for every single person who's on this broadcast this morning. I say receive the baptism of the of the Spirit tonight. Receive the baptism of the Spirit of God. The baptism of the Spirit of judgment. The spirit of judgment shall be released on your enemies. Let the Lord fill your mouth to release that spirit of judgment on anything that has been mocking you, anything that has been trying to delay you. My God, my God. Receive the strength to turn the, the enemy at the gate. The battle is at the gate. Don't allow the enemy to enter your gate. We are receiving the baptism to turn the enemy at the gate. The battle is at the gate. My God, I turn back the enemy at the gate. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is going to paralyze every enemy around you in Jesus' mighty name. Any enemy that has been trying to frustrate your destiny is being paralyzed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Your, 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 you, are, your, you will no longer be stagnant in Jesus mighty name everything pertaining to you shall run accordingly according to plan one day it shall run according to plan the Lord says it's time for you to dream again and rise again it's time for you to execute again so you will run and not be weary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God bless those who are giving my God Anywhere where they took your name, anywhere where they took your picture, anywhere where they took your crown, anywhere they try to exchange your destiny, the fire of God is on this altar. Kariaba Shonda is ready to go and fight them. Father, I release the fire of God to go fight in any evil altar where our names have been taken to. Let those altars be swallowed up in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere where they have released enchant enchantments against you right now, Father God, I send the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Malik, call on the God of, va of vengeance to fight for you. Call on the God of vengeance to fight for you. My God, only God, only God is on this throne. Only God. Mara official, are you ready to populate kingdom of God? Make sure you are sharing that live broadcast. Make sure you are sharing. If this is not only for you. This is also that you help liberate somebody else. Somebody needs this blessing. Somebody is about to take tablets and they are about to commit suicide and they need you to step up. My God. I decree and I declare you will never have useless children. Your children shall be relevant and significant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What nobody did in your father's house, what nobody did in your mother's house, what nobody achieved in your father's house, I decree and I declare that you will be the first to achieve it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that Brenda, you are the barrier breaker. I decree that there is no jinx, there is no hurt, hurt, a curse or whatever it is that will hold you back. My God, Daffy, you will be a barrier breaker in Jesus' mighty name. Wonder, you are a barrier breaker. Wonder. Those three children, you have to be the barrier breaker for them in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be barrier breakers because you are going to war for them. You're going to release the God of vengeance to fight for you definitively. You're going to have to testify triple whatever you had of last year. My God, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. 
everything that has blocked your life today, I command it to be unblocked in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shakura basata kadia. Any obstruction that you have suffered, I command that obstruction to be removed in Jesus' mighty name. That obstruction is removed. You are obstructed. The Lord is saying, charge on. Charge on in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome, Prophet D. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever they could not achieve from your father's side, you will achieve in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Talk to me. Somebody say, God of vengeance, arise and fight for me. Anything that has been trying to put your life to shame, anything that the devil has been using to cause reproach in your life, tonight that garment is set on fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare in the comment section and say, shame shall never be my portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak against the spirit of reproach in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I ask that the Lord of vengeance arise and waste my wasters in Jesus' mighty name. In this fight, that is the day of the Lord, this day of vengeance. That that is the day of vengeance for my God. I declare and I decree I shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I rise and I declare that my, anything that is confronting me shall be confronted by the God of vengeance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm coming out on the other side and I'm coming out shining. I'm coming out on the other side. I'm coming out winning. I'm coming out on the other side because the keys, keys of David have been handed over to me and no door shall be shut which God has opened for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single good door shall open for me in Jesus Jesus' mighty name. The gates are being lifted up because the King of Glory is going in right now. My God, I enter. My God, I take over on the battlefield. I walk into the Syrian camp and I take over all the possessions that are there. My God, I shall not be hungry. Father, if you did it for the four lepers, you are doing it for me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is somebody ready to push in the spirit and make sure you possess your possessions? In this fight, there is only one winner. That's you. It is only you, only you, my God, anything that is trying to put your life to shame, may God shame the shamers, shame those who are trying to shame me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anything that is trying to cause reproach in your life, my God, let that thing be set on fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare it again. I say shame shall not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No one that is near you shall be a burden in your life. No family member shall put pressure in your life. My God, the Lion of Judah is passing through right now. The Lion of Judah is passing through your life. Is passing through your family's life to execute judgment on altars. The Lion of Judah is saying, I'm passing through uh, the altars where they've called your name. The evil altars where deities, my God, wherever your name, your picture, any object, wherever they try to go exchange your destiny. He says, whatever they try to do, my God, Abbasoto Kodia. They shall be laid to rest because they thought that it was going to kill you, but it is them that shall be laid to rest. The Lord is going to lay to rest every agent of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, tap on that screen and share that live broadcast. Come on, talk to me. Mara official, I need you to populate the kingdom of heaven more. Talk to me, Fortune L Online. Facebook, YouTube, talk to me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That says the Lord, I'm opening up your prison doors. I am opening up your prison doors. Favor, I'm opening up your prison doors. Alicia, you are coming out of those prison doors. Wherever they kept you, wherever they kept your family, the chains are being broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. He says you are stepping out. Somebody declare it and decree it. Dolly, you are stepping out in the name of Jesus Christ. Naisley, you are stepping out in the name of Jesus Christ. Sophie, you are stepping out in Jesus' name. I command your healing to be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, I command alignment in the name of Jesus Christ. You are stepping out. Yes, I like it the way you are declaring it because you are calling all that mountain. You are leveling that mountain in Jesus' name. You are stepping out of debt. What do you need to step out of? Right now, declare it. I'm stepping out. My God, there is an opening. Graves are being opened. My God, whatever has been buried that is supposed to be alive. My God, graves are opening right now. You are coming out. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. The rescue operation is underway. Heaven's armies are underway. They're doing what they need to do. Angels are doing what they need to do. You are stepping out. Prison doors are opening right now in Jesus' mighty name. Chains are breaking. Peter, you are coming out. The angel has come to poke you and to tell you it's time for you to step out. It's time to put on your sandals and put on your coat. It is time to step out and step forth. And it's time to step up in the name of Jesus. Oh, every mystery behind every pain that you have gone through, every mystery that is behind every reproach that you have gone through, every mystery that is behind every stagnation, I command that you are coming out of that mystery in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we will not wallow in pain. We will not die in pain in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, open every grave that they buried our destinies in. In Jesus' mighty name, there is a rescue operation underway. And the Lord is saying, I am restoring fortune. I'm restoring because on this rescue op operation, whatever they will find, the word that they will take, my God, I will restore. Whatever the devil thought you will not find, you are finding it this morning. Whatever has been lost to you, you are finding it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, don't be afraid. What the devil said about you will not happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not be afraid. Their expectation concerning your life will not come to pass. The expectations of satanic agents for your life shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord show you who has been fighting you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I'm trying to pace myself because I want to get through this word and pray. But the Lord is pulling me on Mara official. There shall not be any enchantment against you. My God, my God. There are things that we need to fetch from these altars that have been taken there on these evil altars. Stephanie, that is the reason why I paused. Because I see blood being exchanged. Oh, there was an underwear that was taken at a particular point when she was growing up. Some of her clothes went missing. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I ask for your intervention and I ask, Lord, that you go into that family right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I declare and I decree that there is a calling upon the life of Palisa. And Father God, that calling is not, that calling shall not be polluted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we disconnect her from any ancestral covenants that may be demanding her blood and that may be demanding her spirit right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I'm praying this prayer right now, I'm, oh God, I'm a shoto kodia masata, kala masata. So Mimi, that is you. Ora basha kadia masanda. I retrieve it. I retrieve that underway. Kala basha shoto kodia masoto kodia. 
Mimi, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak against every incantation that was done on that underwear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Steph, you're going to have to fight. We're going to have to fight a little bit. I just want to go into, I just want to speak in tongues a bit more because the attacks, they are trying to attack. Father, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus even more. Somebody needs to also be praying for me right now. The enemy is way too angry for what we need to do in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I come against every witchcraft in their bloodline in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I disconnect you in Jesus' mighty name from that covenant of witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Palisa, you are stepping out in Jesus' mighty name. You are stepping out. You are stepping out. Amen. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you so much, this Audrey. God bless you. Because the, when, when I'm praying for some people, you need to understand that the foundations that are fighting you, they don't want to let you go. Thank you, Marike Lady. God bless you. It's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Who are you, mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My God. There's so much. Every witchcraft in your bloodline, I uprooted now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are coming out. I dislodge you. I dislocate you. I annihilate any connection to that bloodline. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I cause a reversal. A reversal. But Lisa, you will not. You will not enter into that covenant. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not enter into that covenant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, my God. Loose your hold from her in Jesus' mighty name. It shall bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Every form of witchcraft, it shall bow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to the voice of witchcraft. I speak to the voice of occultism. I nullify it in the name of Jesus Christ. I nullify every voice of witchcraft, every voice of occultism upon me, upon everybody who's under the influence of in my life. Right now, I nullify it in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, I speak to the voice of voodoo right now. I nullify it right now in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a deployment of a new set of angels that are going to execute this assignment that you have put in our lives as we step into the month of July, my God. Give us a fresh set of angels that are zealous and that are going to run and execute in Jesus' mighty name. The devil's expectations is cut off. It shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless those who are gifting in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to your finances and I, I, I prophesy an increase. I prophesy an expansion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everything be beautiful in your life, Nobuche, in the name of Jesus Christ. All the things that the devil said you will never touch, I prophesy, I decree and I declare that this morning it is the beginning of you touching the things that you have been dreaming about in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karaba Shoto Korea. Every veil that has been cast over your life to prevent you from reaching your destiny on this mountain this morning, I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command that veil that has been cast over your life 
God bless you, precious. God bless you, Senzi. I command that veil to catch fire on this mountain. You shall no longer be veiled. You shall no longer be covered. You will see the God of vengeance will fight for you and he will show you the enemy that you have been fighting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Makaraba Shatakaria. That crown that the Lord has put on you that was stolen, tonight it is restored by the judgment of fire. By the judgment of fire. Lord, restore my crown. Come on, somebody type in that comment section. Restore my crown. Restore my crown. Somebody, you have been having a difficulty in, in breathing. At the moment, you are feeling fire. At the moment, there's like it's like a, it's like a literal fire. You are on fire at the moment. God bless you, precious. You're on fire at the moment. You can confirm it in the com comment section. And you have the urge to sneeze. Sneeze it out. Sneeze it out. Because the Lord is saying, I'm delivering you. I'm delivering you from that sinus issue. I'm delivering you from that sinus issue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, restore my crown. My God. That crown that the Lord had given you that has been stolen is being restored right now. Any devil that said that you will not dance and you will not celebrate this month of July, I decree and I declare that you will celebrate. You are the one who has, is going to send out invitations. There's a lady called Nokolo. You have been planning your wedding, but things are not working out. It's like they're fighting you from every angle and every direction. And finances are not coming together. The Lord is saying, be still. Your wedding will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for releasing provision for not only in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Temple, that migraine is gone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, rabababababababasha. Kadiyama sotu kodiyabasa. Thank you for that confirmation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for those who are confirming the word as it's coming forth. There shall be deliverance on this mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Healing is the children's bread. By his stripes you are healed, Lisbeth. By his stripes you are healed, Lisbeth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any devil that has been saying you will not dance, today you will dance. This shall be your day of celebration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray for Tapelo. I lift him up on the throne of grace. May grace speak for you, Tapelo, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every sickness to flee in the name of Jesus. Every extra luggage is leaving you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who has been saying you will not rest, that person is going to be arranged out of sight. You will rest. The Lord is saying you are entering into your rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Temba, you are entering into your rest. In Jesus' mighty name. Every controversial issue in your life shall be arrested in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I decree and I declare that anybody who is responsible for any form of bondage in your life, vengeance shall answer for you. 
Somebody type it one more time so that everybody knows. God of vengeance, fight for me. God of vengeance, fight for me. God of vengeance, fight for me. God bless you, Glitz. God bless you, Glitz and Lama. God of vengeance is fighting for you, Jennifer. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of vengeance is fighting for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Mimi, I uproot that underwear that was stolen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that underwear to catch fire in that shrine where it is right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, July shall be your month of rest, Audrey, and your family. God of vengeance is going to fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rabo Sando Kialaba Soto Kodiyama Satakadia. God of vengeance, answer by favor in the next 24 hours for uh, Kiabetsui. Kiabetsui. In the next 24 hours, the Lord is going to grant you your answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The angel of vengeance is released to war on your behalf. The Lord of vengeance is released to fight on your behalf, Noabisa. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They lied. You will be able to build your house. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Father, I speak to every occultic disease. Every witchcraft infirmity. I command it to be over today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you have been sitting with diagnoses that are not making sense because the doctors cannot even diagnose. They cannot even tell you what is wrong with you. And that is an occultic disease. It's an infirmity that is stemming from witchcraft that you need to fight in the spirit realm. Right now, I command it to go out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any power that has tied you down. I decree and I declare that their yokes are broken forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Their yokes are broken forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Rachel, I release you from that yoke in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. Makura basotu kodia basata kalia masotu kodia asata. Shandali ama soto kodi ama satakali ama soto toto moshe ketikedi ama. In the name of Jesus, makora ba satakadi ama sanda. Welcome, Prophet Lucas. Any power that has tied you down, their yoke is broken forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shakora ba satakali ama soto kodi ama satakadi ama asata. Thank you, Jesus. Father, on this protocol breaking prayer altar, any virtue that is on this protocol breaking altar, I connect it to their lives right now in Jesus' mighty name. I decree that you will not crush. I declare that you are not a candidate for ritualists in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be a candidate of ritualists in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not be a victim of any crashes, any accidents, whether by land or the air. You will not crash. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, yes, failure shall not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Every strong man that has been holding on to your goods right now, I wage warfare against that strong man in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Janet from Jamaica, I release your children from any plagues of witches, any plans of witches in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless those who are gifting in Jesus' mighty name. Every virtue of your life that the enemy is sitting upon. I command it to come to you by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sunshine. Anything that has been planted in your life to disgrace you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command it to come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Makora ba shoto koni amasata kadi abasa. Araba ba 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 shondo ni amasoka ni amasota kadi amasata kadi. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Roshi kala masoto kodi amasata kadi. Somebody say, God, waste my wasters. Waste my wasters. Waste my wasters. The God of vengeance is saying, it is time to, for me to waste your wasters. You need to understand that those things that have been trying to waste you, they are trying to steal from you. They are trying to kill from you. They are trying to kill you. They are trying to destroy you. That is exactly what the satanic agents are trying to release. They are trying to release the power of the wasters. And I said to you, you are valuable. You are not expendable. You are val valuable to God. You are not going to be wasted. You are not meant for the trash can. My God, I speak to every power of every waster in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Oh, God, waste my wasters. I'm waiting for you to declare it. Oh God, waste my wasters this evening, this morning. The Bible says the thief cometh not but to kill, steal, and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it in abundance. Father God, I speak abundance to everybody who's under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Understand that when wasters come into your life, they come to, 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 to target your life. They come to target your time. Father, I speak against any waster that has been delaying us, that has been wasting our time. I speak to the wasters of time that have been delaying people's marital settlements, people that have been delayed from getting married because you are stuck with one person who cannot make a decision, a, a person who's wasting your time. That person is a waster, and that person is going to be wasted by God. My God. Father, I speak to those wasters that are wasting our finances. Whether we are personally sabotaging our finances or it, or it is by manipulation that our finances are being wasted. Father, we speak to the wasters and we say waste those wasters. Anybody wasting your finances must be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When wasters come, they come to attack your family. My God, God of vengeance, waste the wasters who are wasting my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You, you, you find somebody is not able to pinpoint anything concrete that they have done. There's nothing productive in that family. You cannot say what it is that you have achieved. Is there somebody that I'm talking to this morning? Somebody is working, but you cannot show anything for it. You are getting a salary. You cannot even account what you are doing with your finances. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Thank you for confirming. Hallelujah. Silence every accuser. Silence every waster, my God. Silence every waster. You are working, but you don't see where your money is going. Who's that I'm speaking to? Waste anybody wasting my finances in Jesus' mighty name. There's a guy called Moses, and there's several of you. And the reason for your financial wastage is because you try to help somebody. And you try to help them financially. Thank you, Jesus. In your currency, I see a note that is written 500. And in that 500 note, that 500 note, it's actually brownish in color. I don't know what currency is that. Is that you? Wow. Okay. You exchanged that money because you thought you are helping that person. And they went and performed witchcraft on it. And that is the reason why you have been experiencing dryness in your finances. That was the point of exchange. Oh, Jesus. There shall be deliverance on this mountain this morning. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, billionaire hustler. Hustler. 
Guys, stop giving people money. May the Lord give you the spirit of discernment. I'm not saying stop helping people financially. You can help people financially. But there are some people that have landed into big trouble because of this. But the Lord of Vengeance is answering for you because the Lord of Vengeance is redeeming you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot lose all hope. Kwani baby. The fact that you're on this broadcast is the fact that you still have hope because you would not have stopped and entered this broadcast. So I speak to your spirit man right now. I speak to your soul man right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I resurrect that hope in Jesus' mighty name. May hope come alive inside of you in Jesus' mighty name. When everything is falling apart, God is coming together. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Shakadia masoto kodia masata kadia masata. Fistos re receive that spirit of discernment. My kodia basoto kodia masata kadia masata kadia ba. Father God, let the God of vengeance arise and waste those who are wasting my opportunities. My God. When the powers of the wasters are at work in a person's life, opportunities begin to open up. But if, if, if you are fighting wasters of opportunity, it's like you can't see it or you neglect it. You can see the opportunities here, but you don't take action towards it. What is the reason for that? Because they are trying to waste you. You need to call on the God of vengeance to say, waste my wasters. Waste my wasters, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Waste my wasters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, karabashata kadia masoto kudia. Some of you have been tied to altars from your own villages because your parents don't want you to live without supporting them. Joyce, you left your village and you went to the city and back home. I see your name being called. It's like it's in a, there's like a pond, but it's like a, a, a man-made pond and there's mud and on this mud they keep on calling your name and this is being done by actually your mother i know you might not have the guts to, to to confirm it live but it's okay you can inbox me and it is because you have they saying you will not get married because the fear is that if you get married you will not support them Somebody shout in the comment section. Oh my God. God of vengeance arise for me. God of vengeance arise for me and take me out of any, any coven, any witch, any witchcraft coven. Take me out. I decree and I declare you are being released. You will identify your opportunities. May God waste your wasters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we still need to pray some more. Oh God of vengeance, arise for me. Fight for me, God of vengeance. Thank you, Jesus. Jennifer from Kenya, I speak restoration in your marriage in Jesus' mighty name. Shakura bashata kalia masata kariya basata. Rashoko diya masoto kodiya basanda. Father of God, waste my wasters, those who are wasting my talents in Jesus' mighty name. There are some of you, you are talented so much. But it's like your talents have been rendered useless. 
It's like your talents and your giftings have been rendered useless. They are suppressed. And it's like you are, you are surrounded by people who are less talented. They cannot do the work like you do or better than you. But you are not able to shine. And you are asking yourself and you're asking God, God, why is it that I'm not visible yet I'm talented? You are dealing with the spirit of a waster. You need to deal with that spirit of a waster today. Somebody deal with that spirit of a waster and say, God, waste my wasters. Opportunities are coming your way, but you are not able to grasp those opportunities. You are not grabbing the opportunity. It's a spirit of a waster, a spirit that is trying to empty you. Some of you are dealing with a waster in the areas of your health. The enemy is making you spend all your money on, 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 on you know, medical bills repeatedly. Any time that you set your mind to do something productive, you've been wanting to build a house, you've been wanting to, to, to buy a car, you want to do something productive for your children, you want to take them to school, but there's always one crisis after the other. Your health is being attacked by the waster. Is that you? Billionaire hustler, you will not be useless in Jesus' mighty name. We reverse it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we, 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 we ask that you waste the wasters that are trying to sap our energy. Your strength is being, it's some, it's, it, you are feeling like your strength is being drained out of you. My God. Your abilities are being drained by the waster. Somebody fight. Shakura basata kadia masoto kodia masata ka. Oh Jesus, Linda, I need to pray for you. Remind me, kara basoto kodia basata ka. There is a waster that is fighting your blessings. God bless you, Nicola. God bless everybody who's gifting. Your blessings are being wasted. Your material properties are being wasted. You have just been suffering a leakage. You are selling everything around you. You have just been selling everything. God bless everybody who's watching for the first time. My name is Fortune. I'm from South Africa. This is the protocol breaking prayer. I would appreciate it if you give me a follow and you turn on the notification bell. I'm live every morning, 5 a.m. And Fridays, we have our midnight prayer. God bless you. I have no doubt that you will receive that one word that will settle your matter. The God of settlement will settle you this morning. As you have encountered on this broadcast, I know that it's by divine appointment. It's not by accident in the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are also on Mara Official and who are seeing me for the first time, my name is Fortunel online on TikTok and across all social media channels. So make sure that you, 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 you come into contact with me. You are welcome to send me your prayer requests on Instagram, on inbox as well. But I, I can promise you one thing is that the Lord is going to give you your one word and you will be settled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and you will be lifted in Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Every waster, you're, you, 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 are, you are selling, you have sold all your properties. It's a spirit of a waster that is, that is at work. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless all, all everybody who's following, everybody who's joining and being part of the team, all the intercessors that are following in Jesus' mighty name. Every waster is being unseated right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we will not have the same, same testimony. The, the Bible says in the book of Judges chapter 16 that Samson wasted his own spiritual power at the end of his life. Let your spiritual power not be wasted. You make sure you take authority of your spiritual life right now. When you rise like this and you come on prayers like this, and you say, God, move all protocols for me. Break all protocols for me. You are taking charge of your destiny. You are taking back any exchange destiny. You are retrieving it back in Jesus' mighty name. 
You will end well in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not destroy your, or waste any of the power that God has given you in Jesus' mighty name. Concerning you, everything is yes and amen. I decree and I declare that the Lord is delivering you from any waster that wants to waste your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that the Lord will destroy every work of the waster against you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what area has been wasted in your life, but the Lord says it is the full stop today. This is the park station. This is the last stop. This is the bus stop where everything has to come out. Everything that I did not put inside of you, in your health, in your body, it has to come out. God bless you, Zwabu. Any talent that has been suppressed, any gifting that has been suppressed, any skills that has been suppressed. My God, you are coming out. The feeling of being useless. You are a husband and you have not been working. You have been retrenched for five years. I'm speaking to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you cannot provide for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your in-laws have been making a mockery of you. They are wondering why you, their child is still married to you. My God. I speak to that man right now. I decree and I declare you will not be useless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That feeling of uselessness, that feeling of hopelessness right now uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that the Lord will restore you a hundredfold. Oh yes, thank you for confirming. Jesus. Father, restore that man. Let every protocol be broken for that man. Restore him, Father God, to becoming the breadwinner, to becoming the covering and the provider that you have proposed for him to be in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I speak to every argument, every contention in that family household, my God. Let it stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Every argument, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody, you are being healed of a, your, your, uh, a migraine right here in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your healing in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for confirming. Thank you, Jesus. You just felt a wave, like a, a, a wave of cold right here in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we declare you are the, our healer. We cancel every evil work of the wasters against everybody who, re who needs healing right now. If you need healing right now, lift up your hands towards heaven and receive your healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare healing to you. It's coming now to you by fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit burn away every single form of cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every lump in every breast in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to prostate cancer right now. I command you to be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. I command a clean bill of health on that diagnosis. When you go back for your testing in Jesus' mighty name, it shall be gone in Jesus' mighty name. Every single lump my God in Jesus mighty name I speak to end what, what do you call this thing endometriosis I hope I pronounced it right but I'm speaking for somebody right now I think your name is Jane hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus Christ any blessing that is supposed to be manifesting right now in your life, wherever it is pending, if the blessing is in the hands of the wasters, my God, let that blessing be released to you by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, every single blessing, the blessing, the empowerment, the resident blessing, let it be released to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God of mercy, restore every spiritual power Restore every spiritual power. Restore every spiritual action that, 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 that the wasters have taken away. That the devil had made me lose. Or, 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 or I speak to those of you who are in ministry. May the Lord restore every single gifting. Every single gifting in the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual power is being restored. You are going to rise up and you're going to fight. You're going to be an intercessor that they have never seen. Watchmen are being raised here this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, kariyaba soto, kodiyama sata, kariyaba soto. 
Oh Lord my God, every single material possession that the wasters have deprived deprived us of, Lord, right now we pray, Lord, let it be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, somebody. Let's push in the spirit. Let's take it to the new dimension. Everybody on, on Fortune and L Online, we've got 650 people on this broadcast right now. Everybody share the broadcast and tap on that screen and let's make sure we are populating heaven right now. Let's populate heaven right now. Let's free somebody who was about to commit suicide right now. Talk to me, somebody. Let's restore somebody. Come on, talk to me. Mara official, talk to me. Come on. Come on board. Come on, let's, let's do this. Come on, come on, guys. Share the life, share the life, share the life. Follow, follow the platform where you are watching me from. Hallelujah. Let's stand up for Jesus. If you don't stand for anything, you will fall for anything. If you stand up for something, you will not fall for anything in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I speak to every opportunity. Every opportunity. Come by without money. This is free. This is free. The Spirit of the Lord it will speak freely. I ask that you just make sure you give me a follow so that I know you are standing with me in agreement. Hallelujah. Come on, talk to me. Somebody say, God of vengeance, arise for me. Come on, talk to me. Hallelujah. Anything that you have lost as a result of activities of wasters, the Lord says, I'm restoring it back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Break all protocols for me, Lord. Yes, Brenda, he's breaking all protocols for you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God, every attack of the wasters against our finances, right now, let it come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord hear and answer your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord destroy every satanic emptier in the name of Jesus Christ. What is that thing that is trying to empty you in Jesus' mighty name? That thing is being destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Together, I speak to you right now. Every power that wants to waste your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to Trish and Ethan. I command favor to come towards you in Jesus' mighty name. Gundo, let the God of vengeance speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is destroyed. Every form of waste is destroyed. Anything that is trying to empty your life, my God, every evil association that has been assigned to empty your purpose, every evil association that has been assigned to empty your destiny, I command it to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, my God, every spirit of the emptier, every spirit of the waster that has been waiting for you, that has been wasting you for the past three years, for the past two years, you have been jobless. You, for the past two years, you have been sending your CVs back and forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Who am I talking to? My God, restore, restore, restore. When he restores you, he, you are going to arise. Your glory will arise. I pray for your hands. I bless your hands. I bless the works of your hands. I pray for your hands. I pray for your glory. Your glory will arise. My hand, my glory, arise and shine. Jesus. I decree it that your hands and your glory will arise and shine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, disappoint every power that wants to waste our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, disappoint every power that wants to waste Pua's life. Disappoint every power that wants to waste Linda's life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, talk to me. What do you want the Lord to deal with this morning? What is the vengeance? Where are you directing that arrow of vengeance from the Lord? He say, I am the Lord of vengeance and there is a day of vengeance when I executed against anybody who touches my anointed, against anybody who touches those who are dear to me. I am the Lord. I am a jealous God. I am the Lord. I am a God of vengeance. I am a God who is full of wrath as well. And when I execute my vengeance and none shall ever respond to it in the name of Jesus Christ, I send the God of vengeance to uproot you from every witchcraft coven. I send the God of vengeance to uproot you from every foundation from your father's house and your mother's house. Every 
evil foundation that has been trying to pull you back. I uproot you from every familiar spirit that has been trying to misdirect you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, let them be disappointed in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ, let the wasters be canceled in Jesus' mighty name. Let the blood of Jesus cancel every waster in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that has been trying to deplete and empty your life right now by the blood of Jesus Christ, it is wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God of vengeance, waste my wasters. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord will waste your wasters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to waste your wasters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to raise a prayer and say, Lord, waste anything that has been wasting my time. Waste anybody who is wasting my time. What is that thing that has been wasting your time? The Bible says that no man can enter into the house of a strong man and spoil his goods except he first binds a strong man. Right now, Father God, we rise to declare that we are binding that strong man, strong man in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, understand, child of God, that blaming somebody else for what you're going through is not going to work. That's not how we operate. Janda da 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 baso kodiamasa. Every waster of your time must be dealt with. Because anything that is wasting your time is interrupting the plans of God. And the plans of God shall not be interrupted in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, somebody declare it. Any time waster be destroyed right now. Oh God of vengeance, waste my wasters of time. Who is wasting your time? That person that has been wasting your time shaking up for three, five years, seven years, ten years. They can't even make you an honest woman or honest man. They can't marry you. What are they waiting for? Wasting your time. Some of you are in toxic jobs that you should have left long ago, that you should have started your own business. That thing is a time waster. Thank you, Jesus. Every waster of time that is destroying God's plan for your life, Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we command it to be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has been planted in your life to disgrace you, we command it to be uprooted right now. Let it come out. Anything that the Lord did not plant in your life, we command it to be uprooted. We command it to come out. No more time wasters. No more time wasters. Can somebody declare and decree that no more time wasters? I deal with my time wasters. My God, deal with my time wasters in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Anything that is wasting your time. If you don't pray for yourself, who is supposed to pray for you? Come on. You owe it to yourself. Have you not gone around this mountain enough? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, I am God. I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. What is destroying your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? He says, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment shall be condemned. It shall be condemned by who? By you. You must condemn every tongue that has risen against you in judgment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am praying for you. I am praying for you. No more wasters. My towel. I am teaching you to war. I'm teaching you to do it for yourself. So that when you don't see me online, you know how to fight the enemy at the gate. The battle is at the gate. The battle is at your gate. I pray for you. No more time wasters. Receive it. Every single thing that I've declared and I've prayed for, it, it will come to pass. But it needs also you to step in and believe. Exercise your faith. Amen, my Tao. Amen. God bless you, my darling. God bless you. Hallelujah. Veritas, you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. You are healed. The spirit of the waster is wasted today in the name of Jesus Christ. It's done. We, 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 we decree and we declare that any waster of time, you are done. Your time is done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No longer will you be used wrongly. Hallelujah. 
but you will be used maximally to your potential in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be rendered useless. You will not be idle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Victor. You will not be rendered idle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shakoraba sandalia masoto koria mahasatakalia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, karaba shoto koria masata. When you, you need to understand that when you are being wasted, it means that that thing is being damaged. That thing is not being used for the rightful purpose. So any person who's wasting your time, they're actually damaging you. You become damaged goods and we cannot have that. So father, we rise this morning to decree and we declare that we shall not be wasted. Any waster of our time, father, God deal with them right now in Jesus mighty name, deal with them decisively. Let the vengeance of the Lord be upon that thing right now. Be that upon that time waster in the name of Jesus Christ before the, 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 the spirit of a waster takes over. You need to take over your environment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Arthritis is a time waster. I speak to that spirit of arthritis in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you are free from pain caused by any arthritis in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is that thing that has been planted in your life? What is that thing? Thank you, Jesus. Perpetua. I declare that you will have answers to your prayers in Jesus' mighty name. I command settlement in the name of Jesus Christ. Vitos, as I have prayed for you, I have already executed, I have sent it throughout your bloodline. I have sent it throughout your marital bloodline as well. You are the contact point right now. You receive it for them and you believe it for them. You can go lay hands on them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for settling Faye, uh, marital destiny in Jesus' mighty name. May you meet the right person. May the Lord uproot any person and any, any association that you are not supposed to be with in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord shall direct you to the right spouse in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I, I pray for the fruit of the womb for every single person. I declare and I decree, none shall be barren in Jesus' mighty name. No more time wasters in the name of Jesus Christ. Stephanie, where is Palisa right now? Guys, the only way out is to fight and defeat. Is to fight and defeat. Somebody comment in the comment section, fight and defeat. Take your neighbor, tell them to fight and defeat. This is not a blame game. Fight and defeat. Fight and defeat. You will benefit from every area, every effort. Yes, it is true. Do me, you will benefit from every effort, every effort in Jesus' mighty name. Fight and defeat. Take your neighbor in case they are still sleeping, in case they are feeling sleepy. Tell them it's time to fight and defeat. It's not time to fall asleep. What are you falling asleep for when your finances are sleeping? Do you have the luxury to fall asleep when your finances are doing the, what they're doing? Do you have the luxury to fall asleep? If you don't have the luxury to fall asleep, I want you to see, I want you to see you saying fight and defeat. You're going to fight and defeat. Only those people who don't have anything that's fighting them, maybe they are comfortable with their status quo. They are, they are comfortable with where they are. But if you know that there are foundations that are fighting you and you cannot explain anything by scientific means, you can't explain anything by any biological means, anything that you are going through right now, you are spiraling, you are in a storm, you are in the middle of a storm and you don't know how to come out, you need to fight and defeat. Do you not think that we want to be in bed in this cold weather right now? It is freezing cold. We're probably beyond zero Celsius right now in South Africa. But we rose up to fight and defeat because we're saying there is a better future. There is a better light at the end of the tunnel. There is that light and I want to see that light. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of, I'm, of wetting uh, um, my pillows. I have to fight and defeat. I'm tired of being complacent. I'm tired of being a timid Christian. 
I'm tired of not doing better. I'm tired of seeing my children go to bed without food. I'm tired of seeing a, 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 a man who's not, who's not feeding their child. I'm tired. I'm tired of not having financial resources. Who is tired? I want people who are tired to tell me that they're, they're here to fight and defeat. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are here to fight and defeat. I'm here to defeat everything that is trying to empty my life, whether it's coming by evil manipulation or whether it's coming through my own means. I'm here so that the light can be illuminated in me. What is it that I'm sabotaging myself? Why is it that I keep on going back and fornicating? Why is it that I keep on going back and committing adultery? Why is it that I keep on messing up? Why is it that I cannot be disciplined and diligent and go to my workplace? Why is it that I keep on doing anything the way that I want to and I don't follow the principles of God? Why is it that I'm sabotaging myself? Father, I need you to help me to break me free from this self-sabotage in Jesus' mighty name. Why why is it that I keep on smoking? Why is it that I keep on going back to this cigarette? Meanwhile, I know that it's polluting my lungs. I need to know. I need a breakthrough. I need a deliverance. I need to be free from the addiction of cigarette. I need to be free from the addiction of alcohol. I need to be free. My God, I need to be free because my next generation needs to be free. They need to know that the Lord lives. The Lord is on the throne in Jesus' mighty name. I need to be free from this oppression. I need to be free because I need answers. I need to be free because they are sending me. They are, they are looking at me for answers. Everybody is looking up to you. Are you not tired, Buntle? Are you not tired of crying? You are here to fight and defeat. You will win. You fight and defeat and you win. You come back, you fight and you fight and you fight again. My God. Dini, I know that sometimes you are feeling like everybody is putting it on you, but I want to encourage you with this word that the Spirit of the Lord is saying you are not the reason why it's coming to you is because you are carrying the spiritual scepter. You are the one that is carrying the spiritual scepter. It's not because it is punishment, but it is because he has put that, that the, the burden is on your shoulders and he cannot put more than what you can carry. You are going to succeed because you are the one who's supposed to give direction in your family. Is it Dine or Dini K? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Eulogia. Even if you are tired, don't be tired of waiting. When you are waiting, ask him, God, I will fight and I will defeat. I will fight and I will defeat. Show me what you need me to learn. Show me what I need to learn from this experience in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Musha, I declare and I decree you will fight and you will defeat. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brenda, you will fight and you will defeat in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. My God, my God. Rosha kalama sutu kudia mahasata. I pray for that alcohol addiction. Muipalo, please give me your surname. Give me your husband's surname. My God. You will fight and you will defeat in the name of Jesus Christ. The God of vengeance is arising for you, Chipili. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I declare and I decree that Chipili shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command that spirit of addiction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ on Chipili right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy for that cirrhosis that has already started on his body in Jesus' mighty name. I command peace in that family, in the Chipili family right now in Jesus' mighty name. I command peace to come on that family right now in Jesus' mighty name. That alcoholic addiction is uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. I command an end to it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
every form of addiction that is making people to, 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 to engage in activities that pull them away from God. I command an end to it right now in Jesus' name. Father, I decree and I declare that through these prayers this morning, my God, as we raise our voices and we say, Lord of vengeance, arise and fight our battles. You are making things easier for us. Father, I pray for those people who are believing you for jobs right now in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for Lebohang's father right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the alcohol and the cigarettes to stop in the name of Jesus Christ. That addiction of alcohol and cigarettes, it stops now in the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Drinking, womanizing, it stops now in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall not be fools. We are not fools. We will not behave like fools. For we know who we are and whose we are and whom we are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is not meant for us, O God. Father, uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rakosa takalia masoto kodia masha takalia masa takalia basiti. Ribosa kalia masoto koda basha takalia masa takalia ba. God bless you, Mam Sophie. Thank you, Jesus. Rabosha kalia masoto kodia beshe kitika. Rasha kala masoto kodia masha takalia masa takalia. Everything that has been trying to empty your life, everything that has been trying to waste your life, my God, destroy that thing in Jesus' mighty name. Remove every waster in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every arrow that has been shot your way by any emptier in Jesus' mighty name, I command it to be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every negative pronouncement upon any strange altar that has been emptying your life. Right now, I command that altar to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has been commanding anything against your goodness, I command it to be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your life is coming out of any cage of emptiness. No longer shall you experience emptiness in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will manifest speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree a total restoration for everybody on Facebook, on, on, on YouTube, on TikTok. Mom Kathy, I command in Jesus' mighty name a total manifestation, speedy manifestation of everything that you are believing God for, in particular in your health issues. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are taking care of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree a total restoration in the name of Jesus Christ against any symptom that is still lingering because your health has been perfected but the, the symptoms that are still coming up and whenever they creep up on you I pray for you right now Mom Kathy that you will not be shaken you will not be moved you will hold on to, the, to, 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 to Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hold on to that leg of that angel and say I will not let you go until you bless me until you bless my family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord says, I know the desires of your heart and I want to fulfill them in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not let me go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare total restoration of every virtue and every value in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has been emptied out, I declare a total restoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you shall pursue, you shall take over, and you shall recover all. You will recover all your profits. Anything that you have not been able to achieve in your business from January up until now in June, in July, I command profits. I command abnormal and common dividends and profits in your business 
Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree and common promotions that will come about in Jesus' mighty name. From the left, the right, the south, the west, everywhere it's coming out, you will be favored by God and you will be favored by men in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that you will pursue, you will overtake, and you will recover all, all the rewards that you have been waiting for. Those that are owing you shall pay you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every entitlement, every possession that has been emptied out, it is being restored for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I pray right now, I close every door that has been opened by the operations of the emptiers and wasters in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, I decree that they will hear the word of the Lord. That thing that has been tormenting you, that thing that has been tormenting your business, that thing that has been tormenting your health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that thing that has been tormenting you, making you not to achieve or, or your applications to go through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, that operation, it is being uprooted and stopped in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has been wasting away, I declare and I decree that your applications shall find favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your application is finding favor. It is moving from the bottom of the pile to the top of the pile in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody that you will meet, Father God, I call forth those destiny helpers to come and meet you in Jesus' mighty name. Speedily, God. My God, settle us speedily, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Settle us in our youth days, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that you are receiving a divine empowerment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost will make you too hot, too hot for empty, uh, those who are trying to waste your life to touch you. You are too hot to handle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, Elizabeth Muriro, in Jesus' mighty name. I command greatness on your life in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as we totally submit to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we will be found to be faithful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare in the comment section and say, I shall not be wasted. 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 Yes, yes, Mam Kathy. Everything that is tormenting and frustrating your prayer life is destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. I will not be wasted. I shall not be wasted. I cannot be wasted. I will not be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I shall not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Karabasho to Kodiaba. Yalalalabasoto Kodiaba. Lord, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your kindness towards us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for your kindness and your love towards our household in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for everybody who's gifting in Jesus' mighty name. May your name be glorified forever in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Mapula. God bless you, Nongosi. Holy Spirit of the living God, come upon our lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and launch out vengeance for us. Fight for us. Fight our battles for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say it again. I shall not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise in your power and strike my enemies in your wrath right now. Let your vengeance arise. Strike my enemies in your wrath in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, you are the great deliverer. Arise. Do not allow the wicked men to triumph over over us in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who has been plotting with wickedness, Father God, you said there shall be no rest for the wickedness. My God, those who are wicked against our lives, Father God, let them not find rest in Jesus' mighty name. My Father, arise. I shall not be wasted. Zamangete, you will not be wasted. Noabisa, you will not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Sipo, you will not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Reina Ray, you will not be wasted. Brenda, you will not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Kalabashoto Kodia Masata Kalia Basuta Kalia Rabasi. Oh, Father God. I declare and I decree, I pray for the spirit of burnout for every man and woman of God that is represented on this broadcast right now. I speak to your ministry right now. 
I command the spirit of burnout and the spirit of wasting, the spirit of feeling empty, like you are just working and you are not achieving anything, like your efforts are not being seen. My God, I come against the spirit of a waster, all the waster of efforts. My God, your efforts shall not be wasted. You shall not be wasted. Your efforts shall not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord show himself strong and manifest and expand your territories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Arise, O God. Bring down the pride of the enemy to nothing. Anybody who has been... God bless you, Kato. God bless you, everybody who's gifting. Every arrow of the wasters that has been fired into your life, I command it to backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Your efforts shall not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name, Cheryl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to any power, any evil authority, any wicked personality, any person that has been smiling at you at the daytime. Meanwhile, they are backstabbing you in the night season. Anybody who has been saying that your efforts shall be wasted in the na na name of Jesus Christ. I command them to fall down and die. Any personality that has been saying you will not rise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare. They shall be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. They that are trying to waste you, they shall be wasted themselves in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, you need to declare and decree with me. We're praying along together. This is not a one-way road. The more you make a demand on the anointing, the more he speaks. Makaraba basata. Fix those things in the spirit realm. Don't be shaken about what the enemy has done. Shift those things. Shift those things around. Father, I claim divine immunity against everybody who's at the sound of my voice right now. Every wicked arrow. We claim divine immunity against every wicked arrow. Every wicked arrow. We claim divine immunity in the name of Jesus Christ. Every, every wicked arrow. We claim divine immunity. We are immunized against any wicked arrow. We are immunized against any weapon of the enemy. We are immunized against every poison in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that has been using the seed of our womb to waste our efforts, right now we command them to be wasted by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what it is, that thing that has been trying to waste your womb. My God, Stephanie, I am back again. The Holy Spirit is saying this is the one you declare even the loudest. She is the seed of your womb. She shall not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we send that thunder that is trying to waste Stephanie's daughter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. Let the thunder of God strike them. That familiar spirit, let it be struck in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that is using the seed of your womb to waste your efforts. You did not raise your child to become a sangoma. She came from your own umbilical cord. You can cut it off. You can, you can declare. Stephanie, if you are still on the broadcast, I want you to put your hands, both your hands, on your navel. On your navel here. I want you to command your navel and say, that which I have birthed, the seed of my womb is blessed. The seed of my womb shall not become a sangoma in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Some of you I need to, I'm trying to see if I've got a wallet close by. If you've got a note, a piece of note, God bless you, precious. If you've got a piece of, of note, a, a, a money, money, hold money in your hand or hold a wallet in your hand right now. Father, I command, or if you don't have a wallet or money inside, just put your hands in your pocket or one hand in your pocket as you are typing with the other one and tapping with the other one. And, and you say, every hole in my pocket be sealed by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command every hole in my pocket to be sealed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, every hole in my pocket be sealed in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I command increase on that money. I command increase on that wallet. I command increase in your pocket in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, whatever has been emptying those pockets in the name of Jesus Christ, that we don't have direction, we don't know what we are doing with our money. Father God, that shall not be our testimony in Jesus' mighty name. It shall not be your portion. That hole is sealed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Your enemies must never be comfortable. Don't allow your enemies to be comfortable. If you have a bottle of olive oil in your house, I want you to take that bottle of olive oil and keep it next to you as we are praying. And you dedicate, if you have anointing oil that you've already dedicated, when we finish this broadcast, I don't know what time of day it will be, but if it's morning, in daytime, when the sun is out like this, God bless you, Tara. You go out to your gates with everybody in sight seeing you. I need you to anoint your gate. I need you to stop crawling at night. I need you to go and torment your tormentors physically. Let them see you. Those of you who have been battling, you are saying, I'm hearing things, pastor. Things are on my roof. I'm hearing voices in my head and all these things. Any type of witchcraft activity that you have been suspicious of. My God. Even if you take a bucket of water or a glass of water and you go sprinkle it at the gate, the battle is at the gate. I want you to go fight your enemies at the gate. Even if they see you, that is the whole point. You, we want to send a message to the enemy that we will not be touched, we will not be broken. The God of vengeance is alive. Anoint your doorposts. Anoint your door. Nobody will tell you you are performing. If they're saying you are a witch, you say, yes, I'm, I'm bewitching my, my yard, my gate. I'm bewitching my yard. My gate is for my children. Hallelujah. You definitely will not be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Ketia. God bless you, Kato. I command your emotional wellness in the name of Jesus Christ. It is coming to pass right now. You are strengthened. In Jesus' mighty name. You are strengthened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive emotional health. Emotional strength is returning to you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ketia. Ketia. I, am I, I hope I'm pronouncing right. Ketia or Katia. Receive your emotional healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father. Every hole in the pocket is sealed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for every single child that is represented in this place. You have a child. I speak to every evil instruction, every evil voice that has been trying to manipulate their brain. Right now, I command every evil instructor, every evil voice to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil instructor that is manipulating them, right now I command it to be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Your child has been complaining of voices. In the name of Jesus Christ. What you say with your mouth is exactly what will come to pass. So some of you are just joining us now. God bless you, I see. If you say something, if you say I'm defeated, if you say I'm, I'm giving up, that's exactly what will be delivered. But if you came on this broadcast because there was an inkling of hope, change your language your words carry power if you say i'm um, do not say you are giving up please let me be clear you see somebody who's 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 declaring and praying saying i'm victorious don't say i'm giving up you're not giving up there's no giving up here i command that inflammation on those lungs to go down in jesus mighty name Kato, I command total healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ on your lungs. 
I'm victorious. I'm not defeated. I'm a winner. I'm a victor. The crown is mine. I'm not hopeless. I'm hopeful. Guys, we don't do pity parties on this protocol breaking prayer altar. Mm -mm. We might be we might be feeling like we are spiraling. It's a feeling. It's a symptom. We deal with root causes. We address the root cause and we move on. You are a giant. That person that typed, I'm hopeless, I'm giving up, I've given No, what are you giving up for? What are you giving up for? When there are so many people who are rise right now, they are standing in agreement with you as they are busy praying right now. Do you understand that there is a witness, there is a cloud of witness that is gathered on this broadcast just to stand in agreement with you? And you will walk out and you will go back to your old self and your normal life. The devil is a liar. We are gathered here to seal your deliverance, to stand and celebrate with you. We are, we, you are a giant. The Lion of Judah is here. You are in the right camp. Don't come here and, and say, I'm defeated, I'm dying. You're not dying. Nobody's dying on my watch. You're not dying on my watch. No, 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 no. If you want to die, you do it somewhere else. But you're not dying when everybody here, all these watchmen, all these intercessors are here. My God. You declare what the word of God says about you, not what you are feeling. You are being resurrected. The same power that resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead is inside of you, reviving you, revitalizing you. You are full of hope in Jesus' mighty name. Try that for a change and see whether joy wells up inside of you. Try remembering what it is like to worship and praise God and see whether or not that does not break your fallow ground right now. The reason why you are at right now is because you have been polluting your environment with negative words. And those negative words have been wasting your life. It has not worked. So why don't you try God for a change? Try God, try joy, try praise, try worship, try something. Since you already, if, if, if you came and you know you are carrying a heavy weight and you've been saying, oh, I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm at the end. So why don't you try this side? They might call us crazy. Try God for a change. Try worshiping him for a change. Try believing in him for a change. Try having faith in him for a change. Try worshiping him. Try not to make him an option B. Try making him an only option. Somebody say, God is my only option. God is my only option. I don't have any other option. I am not going to a juju priest after this. I'm not going to a sangoma after this. I am not going to a, a palm reader after this. I'm not going to a tarot reader. I only have God. God, I only have you. You have to exercise your vengeance. You have to fight this battle for me and I have to win. Why don't you do that for a change? If you if you you had money to spend and going to Sangomas for three, five years, can you can you give God the benefit of the doubt? Even for a day, even for a month, even for a year? Why don't you just try him exclusively? And then you can come back to me and tell me, Pastor Fortune, I'm giving up. But you're not giving up when you've just you've been trying everything else. You've been looking at your family members and you and then you have been looking you have been having too many options and god is saying i don't want you to have other options i want to be the only option yes i work through a man because i'm god i will i will bring men who will bless you some of you you have been looking at the wrong people you have been actually some of you are looking at the right people who are supposed to be your destiny helper they're supposed to give you the money that you want but they are not giving it to you because the lord has not released it yet because you don't understand that he's the source of all, everything and when he releases it, he's the one that makes the favor to operate on earth through other human beings. So some of you are missing it because you are looking at the wrong person who's, where the help is supposed to come from. Some of you are looking at the right person, but it is your mouth and it is your attitude that has gotten you to the point where you are. Because you don't, you're not grateful, you're not thankful enough. You are having a sense of entitlement that they are supposed to do that thing. And these meetings are meant for that type of correction where the Holy Spirit speaks and says, I need to realign my, my tongue. I need to speak life. Amen.
You need to fight. You need to stop being complacent. You need to, you, to, to stop being timid. You need to, you need to understand that, yes, even if I say send your prayer request, it doesn't mean it lets you off the hook. You must pray. How many years have you been saying, da, 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 uh, so and so, pray for me? Are you sure they are praying for you? We don't joke. Where's my book? I can tell you, on the 23rd of June, Juliet was on my broadcast. She asked for five, she said she's been out of a job for five months. And I gave her a prophetic instruction what to do. I want to show you that maybe you have been trying. Here we don't try. Here we don't, we don't do manga manga business. My heart is invested in this. My health is invested in this. My presence is invested in this. When I receive a prayer request, I can tell you that can get, that's his handle, has been struggling about not receiving recognition at work. And I prayed for him. And he got his breakthrough. These are the names. I write down. I don't take it for granted. By the grace of God, what I am able to commit to memory. Do you not think I am not, I'm still, Chipili, the surname Chipili is in my head. That that marriage is on the rocks. Right now, that marriage needs restoration. So if you came to play on this broadcast, I don't play. I didn't write down Chipili, but Chipili is in my head. That marriage has to be restored. Addiction in that family needs to be uprooted. I have prayed about it now. I'm going to continue to thank God until Mrs. Chipili comes back to thank me and say, Pastor, thank you for letting God use you. To being that that, that 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 vessel in between. So don't come and play. This is a fight. Life is a battle. It's not a fun fair. I take your your request seriously. I take them seriously. I can mention names ad infinitum. I want to see if some of you are here. When I ask you to inbox me that testimony, when I ask you to send me that praise report, because I'm marking off, I'm marking off, and I'm giving God praise, and I say, God, yes, that's another loss to the kingdom of darkness. Yes, Gracie. Yes, Ndumaiza. Ndumaiza will tell you, I don't joke with this. That is why I don't have tolerance for people who want microwave miracles and they come for prophecies. I'm not a Sangoma. If you just come on this broadcast and you don't want the word of God, you don't want the foundation, that's not me. You get me, you get the word, you get the preaching, you get the prophecy, you get everything. I'm a total package. So if you're going to come in and all you want is a pray for me and then you just want to go. Yes, you are here to be prayed for. Yes, but here you are also going to be empowered. On this platform, I want to teach you to be your own prophet. I want to teach you how to pray. My God, let me continue. I'll come back to my book as I'm going to close. I'll be back at my book. I'm seeing. I'm watching four screens. There's four laptops open here. But I'm watching. And I'm in the spirit as well. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Pauline. God bless you, Angel. God bless you, my darling. So I want you to take your life seriously. Take your life seriously. Take your prayer life seriously. Don't say this thing of God is not working. You were praying when, when you just came and you did a drive by like bang, bang, bang. You just, you just came. It's like you just, just, no, this is not one of those platforms. I see your name and I prophesy. No, 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 no. That's not my calling. Maybe one day if the Lord chooses to manifest that way and say, I see your name, I prophesy. I, I'm not on that one, okay? I bless God if, 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 if maybe that is happening. But here, guys, this you, to, move, to, to break protocols, you need to know what the word of God says. And you need to know what the word of God. You need to understand the principalities you are fighting. 
some things don't come out by just the casting out of demons. Some of you are fighting principalities. You are found, fighting foundations, ancestral foundations. You need to know how to deal with those stubborn things. They don't just come out because they respect principles. And some of you need to understand where you are standing in the courts of heaven. What is justifying this thing that is holding on to you? Why is it that you are not getting the breakthrough that you are needing? It is because there is a hold. Because the devil is contending. He's saying, no, 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 but he has done this. She, she is the one that broke the hedge of protection. He is the one that broke the hedge of protection. Do you understand that? That it means as a servant of God, I need to have come and highlight and illuminate to you that every time you break the hedge of protection, you are the one who is slowing down the answers to your miracles. He's still a miracle working God. He's still a God that gives breakthrough. He's still a God that can turn around your finances like that in a heartbeat. But it is you who is closing it. You are the one who keeps on breaking the hedge of protection. You are the one who keeps, you say one thing right now, in five hours you'll be saying, we'll see, we'll see, maybe, maybe it will work out. I met this other lady called Pastor Fortune on TikTok. Yes, Sharon. Sharon, I don't know what is the reason when you say they stepped down. I don't know it is because it is in a ministry when you say they've stepped down or they've left of what has happened. But I pray for you that your, your prayer life shall be so activated not only will you find a home that will help you grow in the word of God and make you a spiritual giant, but the Lord will connect you to the parents that are supposed to mentor you. But for now, as you are searching, the Lord is your covering until he shows you your spiritual covering on earth. That spiritual fatherhood and motherhood that you are looking for until you identify it. He will confirm it to you. You are not an orphan. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sharon, you still have God. God bless you, Barasa. You still have God. God is your covering. We don't panic. We don't shake. Every single person who's on this broadcast, let it be very clear to you. If you are having issues, wherever you are planted, wherever you are worshipping, there is still God. There is still prayer that, you, that will help you determine whether you are still to be there or not, or whether you need to shift. And you will never be depleted of, of the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You still have platforms like this where you will still hear the word of God being taught until you find, if, 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 if you're the person who's saying, I don't know much about online church, I, will, I want something else closer to home. God will direct you in due season. Just work on you. Work, reinforce your prayer life. This is why we are investing in this time. God bless you, Laura. Otherwise, I could have just decided I'm going to do me and my family. I could have decided I'm going to do business. I'm going to do just and just hustle in life and just be happy. But the burden I carry, the burden that I carry is what makes me come back. I wanted to sleep. I'm t I, I, even when I'm exhausted, I come forth and I say, God, if I didn't, the testimonies that I receive, when somebody says, Pastor, I just stumbled on your broadcast and I was about to commit suicide. Imagine if that was the day I decided not to come live. Yes, every stubborn habit that has been blocking you from God, right now I command it to be uprooted in Jesus' mighty name. Imagine if I decided I was not going to come on live. You must know the day you don't see me and I have not made arrangements for somebody else to stand in for me, then really, really, it must be that I'm busy dealing with a hurricane somewhere. God bless you, Dini. It is your time. It is your season. It is now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
you will retrieve your harvest in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic giant that has been blowing away your harvest, I command it to fall down and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every satanic agent that has been blowing away at your harvest, you have sown, you have sown in tears. Some of you have sown financially. Some of you sowed in the wrong grounds. Some of you sowed in the right grounds, but you did not nurture and water it. You thought it was your money that was just going to speak to you. The Holy Spirit says, no, 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 it's not just in the money. God is saying, I'm not just a transaction like that. I need your heart as well. My God, God bless you, Anna Bengele. It's not just in the money. If we were doing this for money, we would not be here. Trust me. I would have already been calling you for one-on-ones. I'm not about that. It is God that, that blesses me. If God wants to bless me through you, God bless you. I will pray for you. Give the Lord your heart. Be sincere. That is what I want to see. I want to hear testimonies. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. God will look after me. A gentleman called me during the week and said, over 100 million rand is being held back. I'm not going to mention names because I don't want anybody to go and pursue them. Hallelujah. And said, please help me. Pastor, I want to do something for your ministry. I said, that's not necessary. But if you do, you do. But what I'm saying right now, people have real needs. People are going through a lot. If I don't show up for them, imagine if that testimony comes out, comes out and things work out there. How many people will be blessed? You will testify, Rachel, in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody type, it's my time to testify. It's my time to testify. What if, what if you wake up one day and I come and you see my face but my voice is cracked and I cannot speak? You're going to have to prophesy yourself. It's my time to testify. So don't feel like your time is being wasted. When we hold our teachings at 10 p.m., we are teaching you the word. Guys, the thing is in the word. And once you start activating your prayer life, you will see illumination. You will start seeing visions. You just have to pray. He says, if we, above all things, desire to be a prophet. If you want to be a prophet, I don't call myself a prophet, but yet the Lord visits me with a prophetic action. Seek him, seek him. Everything else is added unto you. Seek first the kingdom of God and its expansion. And when your money and your heart and your, your mindset is in the right place, when you are seeking the kingdom of God's advancement, everything is added unto you. Some of these things that are happening all, all over social media, it's not a magic thing. There's no magic pill to it. Yes, it's a calling. Yes, it's a gifting. But you can activate it in your life. What I'm trying to show you is that you can be able to see. Your spiritual eyes can be opened. You can see who is, who, who is torturing you. You can see the evil that the enemy is trying against you. Intercessors, bear me witness. Those of you who are intercessors, you know, you understand this thing. As you go deeper. The more I pray for other people, I know God has to take care of my needs. I I, I've never asked for anybody. Even when you join my WhatsApp group, I also say, please, no, nobody must ask you for money. I don't ask for anybody for money in the inbox. Hallelujah. I don't want anybody to be scammed in my name. Hallelujah, somebody. God, open my spiritual eyes. God looks after me. I look, I, I've made up my mind. I'm sold out to God. I'm going to pray. I'm going to, I'm going to, whatever, however he chooses to use me. That is exactly how I will execute all the days of my life. 
When you look after God's things, God looks after you. Somebody called me and said, Pastor, can I buy you data? Because I know the work of the Lord needs to expand. What else is needed? Because I know God plans ideas. Do you understand that if I pray for you and continue to pray for you and you get your breakthrough, for those of you who are not going to be like the other lepers who did not, the nine lepers who did not come back and say thank you, some of you will come back and say thank you and this ministry will be blessed and this ministry will expand. So I've got a vested interest. God bless those who have subscribed. I know that when you get your breakthrough, you testify. And I know that when you get your breakthrough, that you will also bless those who bless you with spiritual things. Let's get back to it. Thank you, Jesus. Every Goliath, every giant that is blocking your path right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command it to take, to die in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. God bless you every satanic roadblock to your achievement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I command it to be removed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ come on somebody remove every satanic roadblock every evil roadblock what is it that thing that has been blocking you is it a roadblock is it an object is it a person it must be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father I command every roadblock to be removed father what is that thing that is preventing me who is that person that is sitting on my position who is that person who is sitting on my application who is that person who is supposed to uh, sign approved? I need that stamp of approval. Who is sitting on my immigration paper right now in Jesus' mighty name? Who is sitting on my passport application right now in the name of Jesus Christ? Who is sitting on that approval, my God? Somebody needs to go for a fitness test. It's part of your qualification for the job that you are believing God for. And he's saying, It is approved. Do not panic. Do not, do not shake. No shaking. Who is that person? Who is that person? Sienki, 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 Sienki. That's your name. Sienki, they have vowed that you will not take up that position. In fact, they are trying to get you to resign. In fact, they've decided that they're freezing the position because they don't want to give it to you. I remove that roadblock. Whoever has sought to make themselves a roadblock thinking that you will resign, you will not resign. You will hold your position. You will hold your peace. I am the God of vengeance. I will fight your battles and you will hold your peace. You just need to chill and hold your peace. I decree and I declare upon your life and the family's life that you will not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every giant blocking your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the confirmation in Jesus' name. Thank you for the confirmation in Jesus' name. You've been applying for the same promotion. For the past three years, you've been applying for the same promotion. And every time they have to make or take the step forward that they're going to appoint... There's always a change of management. It's like there's always something that's a delay. Has there, has there been a disciplinary hearing? Tell me what happened at the disciplinary hearing. The Lord says you must not be anxious. Be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and supplications, make your requests known to him. Bring your petitions to God. This is not an ultimatum where you're asking 
am I losing my job or not? This is a point where you are asking for his mercy to intervene. This is a point where you are asking for his mercy to intervene for you in Jesus' mighty name. Vincent, which country? Every roadblock is being removed. Every roadblock is being removed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makura basha takalia basoto korea basa takalia bashande de 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 besia. Father, I speak to every embassy of the U.S. Where are you based, Vincent? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May that application be granted in Jesus' mighty name. Cecilia, you are set free. July is your month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of disappointment is removed in Jesus' mighty name. Every roadblock is removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Talk to me. I decree and I declare you will not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Who is that person that has been vandalizing your destiny? Shumi, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to that application. No more delays. I decree and I declare no more delays in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for Celine. My God, I thank you, Lord, that she will not only be committed to her studies, Father God, but she will flourish in her studies in Jesus' mighty name. You will not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Yonela, I remove that roadblock in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whoever has been vandalizing you, no more delays. Somebody prophesy into the month of July. Somebody prophesy into the month of July. What do you want to see in the month of July? Destiny helpers are locating you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command the gates of Canada to open for Donette in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the gates of Canada to open in the name of Jesus Christ for Donette in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for protection for Matapelo's children in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fear is removed from you, Madike Lady, in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessing. The Holy Spirit says no on the partner. There is no partner. He says you can look forward to me prospering you financially. You can look forward to a movement in the financial space. But he's saying that, he's saying wait on me. Wait on me. You will not meet the person in July. But you will meet the person this year, but not in July. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to our destiny helpers. I command them to come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every agent of darkness that has been sent to destroy any treasure that is ours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord settle your request in Jesus' mighty name. Figile, may the Lord give you not only just the place that you will be happy with, but a place that you will afford. Because the Lord says he wants to correct your finances as well in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, any vandalizer of destiny, 
any waster of destiny that is encamped around us right now that wants to destroy our treasures in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command them to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are catching fire right now in Jesus' mighty name. Who is that vandalizer? Who is that destiny waster in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? My God. My God, my God, my God. Power to invade is being released right now in Jesus' mighty name. Power to invade. Power to invade. The Lord will cause you to overcome those who are trying to invade you illegally, but you will invade the, what the enemy stole from you. You will invade the city. The Lord is saying that the walls of Jericho will fall for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Indeed, your restoration has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command that healing on, uh, on that stomach right now. Sheila receive your healing right now sheila rush to the to 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 to, to the tap right now take a glass of water take a glass of water and pray over it i want you to declare and command it and say i will not be wasted father my body is the temple of god i will not be sick in jesus mighty name I declare and I decree that my stomach is healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. And then you drink it and let me know how you're feeling immediately. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of disappointment, I uproot you. Every roadblock of disappointment, I uproot you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the temple of God, the temple of God shall not be touched. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Gracie, I already prophesied about your five-year delay on, on, I think maybe you are coming in a bit late. I already spoke about it. The Lord already released it. You will have renewed hope. Restoration has definitely come. You are receiving a, re a refreshing because what happens after five years, I don't even want to call it giving up. You just, you, you've just, you've just shut down and the Lord saying, I want to refresh you, reactivate your spirit, man, reactivate your prayer life. The Lord, he wants to refresh you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I, I speak to okay I don't have a name but I your, your spiritual mother father I command healing to come on her body father God father let her work speak for her she has served you diligently let the will of God be done in Jesus' mighty name. Let comfort come to her body right now in Jesus' name. I decree that you will not be wasted in Jesus' mighty name. Come and pull through your, your prayer request very now. Hallelujah. So that I can start bringing you up. What are you believing God for this morning? The Lord is going to confuse those who have been trying to set up roadblocks for you in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is going to set up confusion in the spoilers camp, any vandalizer, any wasters camp. God is sending confusion in that camp right now in Jesus' mighty name. Those who have said you will not celebrate right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we call for every reinforcement. We call for reinforcement of every warring angel to come through for us and fight for us in Jesus' mighty name.
shares do you have any issues about security actually let me not ask you your interpretation of your dream is that you have been feeling insecure in terms of finances and provision you are not certain of your covering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may the Lord restore your faith may you not be anxious for anything may you trust in him in the name of Jesus Christ you got it chairs you got it chairs is it resonating with you thank you for confirming rose my chai As you pray, he will surely direct you and order your steps. Everybody who's tuning in, this is the protocol breaking prayer. I'm asking that you give me a follow on my link here at the top and put on your notification bell. Do not miss my daily broadcast, 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. Please give me a follow. Kindly give me a follow. My prayers, everything that I do, I do for God, for the glory of God. And I'm asking that you kindly just give me a follow. I'm here. I will pray for every single request if I have to. Hallelujah. I will tarry with you. Amen, somebody. I speak promotion and blessings. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. Those of you on Mara Official, you can also follow me on Fortune Online on TikTok. I'm Pastor Fortune, Fortune Online. Don't worry. We're still going to pray. I'm going to bring you back, uh, guys, in the box as well. So those of you who are following that account, there's also a YouTube channel there on the profile. You will go to the YouTube profile to watch the rebroadcast of this. Um, all, all our broadcasts are, are, are put up on YouTube. Unless we say we are going to remove them. Hallelujah. So I ask that you kindly give me a follow and turn on the notification bell. You're welcome to send your prayer request if it's something that is very private that you cannot put up on the screen. If it's something that is private that the Lord shows me, whether it's a dream interpretation, I will do my best to respond either directly on the inbox or I will do a short video for you or I will respond during our meetings like this. But I will not mention names because I, I, I respect your confidentiality. Some of you, I know that you are going through a lot and you don't want, you know, so all I'm asking for is that you give me a follow. God bless you, prophetess. Thank you so much. God bless you. I ask that you give me a follow and turn on the notification bell. And I ask that you take your prayer life seriously. I ask that you take your prayer life very, very seriously. And I ask that you become rooted in the word. That is all that I'm asking for. God bless you. Father... I thank you for every single person that has come through on the broadcast this morning. I thank you for everybody who has gifted. I thank you for everybody who has followed my God in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as they are sending through their prayer requests, Father God, I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Their prayer requests, my God, they shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I need to switch out of this profile. I'm trying to give you my handle on Mara Official. I'll do it right now. Please, can my moderators be a bit more alert because we're about to start taking calls. God bless you, prophetess. God bless you and increase you in Jesus' mighty name. I need my moderators to be alert, please. God is good indeed. Somebody shouted again in the comment section and say, God of vengeance arise, God of vengeance arise and fight for me. He says, I'm a God of vengeance. There is a day that is the day of vengeance and that day of vengeance is now. I am a jealous God. I will fight for you in Jesus mighty name. 
I will fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are unfortunate online, you are on the right platform. You just go to my profile and you will find you will find my YouTube link there. Amen. Who sell it away? Is it that you say you don't belong, my angel? Where you don't belong, if the Lord says you must shift, you shift. The moment you, you start seeing the negativity more than the positivity, you shift. Your sanity is more important. And if it's a relationship, if it's an ungodly association and God doesn't want you there, go. No amount of shaking up and cohabitation is worth you breaking the hedge of protection. Some of you are vulnerable because you broke the hedge of protection and we are all about accountability. You must be accountable. Lord, where have I wronged you? I ask you for mercy. That's my handle across all social media handles. Um, those of you on Mara Official, make sure you find me as well on, on, on TikTok under that handle. Masiho. Too many excuses. Too many excuses. Are you hearing me, Master? Oh, God bless you. Too many excuses. Too many back and forth. The Lord says the night season is very close. You need to step out now. You need to do now. God bless you, prophetess. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single body who's on this broadcast. I pray, Lord, that you hide them from secret plots of the enemy. Hide them from every secret plot of the enemy, O oh God. Protect them from every secret plot of the enemy, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the God of vengeance arise. Hide them from secret plots of the enemy. Hide them from every tongue that wants to cut them. Hide them from any arrow of conspiracy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, hide them from every spell, every jinx, every hex, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, hide them from any enchantment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak a restoration for Queen Nadia of your marriage in Jesus' mighty name. Every plan of the enemy to scatter their finances father god i pray for them right now every plan of the enemy to scatter your dreams i pray for you right now every plan of the enemy to scatter your aspirations in the mighty name of jesus christ any plan of the enemy to blur your vision and any plan of the enemy to 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 to, to blur your vision on your finances in jesus mighty name i command it to be terminated Anything that wants to blur your vision, anything that wants to feed off your God-given resources, that is saying your resources shall be depleted. Right now, I terminate it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hide me, Lord, in the shadow of your wings. Hide me, Lord, from devourers. Hide me from wasters, wasters of time, wasters of opportunity, wasters of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, hide me, Lord. That is my prayer. That is my prayer for you and me. That the Lord hides us from destiny destroyers. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the Lord will hide us from destiny exchangers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord reveal every single opportunity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you not miss your opportunity. May you not miss your open doors. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
May the, may, may the Lord, through the blood of Jesus Christ, flash out every vandalizer, every waster of destiny, whether they are known to you or whether they are known to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will give you the discernment to see the vandalizers and the wasters of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus will flash it out in the name of Jesus Christ. That thing that wants to waste your life that is in your blood, the blood of Jesus is cleansing it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the spirit of cancer. I speak to everybody who's got a blood cancer issue right now. Let the blood of Jesus flush it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I declare once more that no weapon, no weapon, whether it is formed or whether it is fashioned or whatever it is, my God, it shall not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. The weapon of cancer shall not prosper. The weapon of diabetes shall not prosper. The weapon of high blood pressure that shall not prosper. The weapon of spondyloliosis shall not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every single vertebra. I speak to every single vertebra right now. I command it to be aligned. I command a refreshing in those vertebrae in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every ligament to take shape and to be renewed like new, like a baby's ligament in the name of Jesus Christ. Every joint repaired, renewed in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfected, health perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, every weapon from every enemy, from whatever direction that has been formed against your life, against your family, against your business, against everything that is your effort right now, your efforts shall not be in vain in Jesus' mighty name. Any or any weapon that has been fashioned, that has been fired, my God, let it be consumed and destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let every tongue that tries to rise against you, you will condemn it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every tongue that is trying to rise against you condemn itself. Let it ruin itself. Let them talk amongst themselves and actually fight amongst themselves in Jesus' mighty name. My God. I command that acid reflux to go right now in Jesus' mighty name. I command that acid reflux to go out in Jesus' mighty name. Kolile, you are healed. I command the mending of that hernia in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I call forth the warring angels to come speedily and to disarm any destiny waster to disarm any destined waster or any vandalizer against my career, against my business in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To disarm any, any destiny waster against my family, against my purpose, against my ministry. As I'm saying these words, I'm declaring on your behalf, you should shout a resounding amen. I want your amen to thunder well in Jesus' mighty name. You will put on the shield of faith. You will arise in boldness in Jesus' mighty name. You will declare that you will not fear. The Spirit of the Lord says, There shall be no fear of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that walks in the darkness, or the destruction of the wasters. Hallelujah. At noonday in Jesus' mighty name, the Lord shall fight for you because He says, I know you. I called you. I know the thoughts that I have towards of you. They are thoughts of goodness and then peace to bring you to an expected end. He says, I can resurrect your dreams if you can just dare to believe me one more time, if you can dare to just hope on me one more time. Jesus, God bless you. God bless you, Kayla. God bless you, prophetess. My God, I declare that you will not sow and another harvest. Wherever you have sown, you will harvest in Jesus' mighty name. You will not build and another inhabit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you build, you will inhabit. Hallelujah. You will occupy your houses in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody get, needs to receive their house in Jesus' mighty name. They've been threatening to evict you. You are actually in your family house. I don't know how you call it in other countries, but where you are staying with your siblings, your parents are deceased, but they've been telling, the other siblings have been just been making life uncomfortable for you. The Lord is releasing a new house for you. 
You shall not labor and another person eats. You will reap the fruits of your harvest, of, of, of your labor. You will reap the few fruits of your seeds. Hallelujah. My God. Any friend that is disguising themselves as a friend, but they are actually a vandalizer. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any friend that is actually a, an enemy, Father God, that is trying to stab me in the back. God bless you, Dr. T Tichi. God bless you, prophetess. They are standing, they are making as if they are your friend, but they're actually using your talent. They are misusing you. They are vandalizing you. They are using your potential. But in, in the meantime, they're actually suppressing you. They're suppressing you. Father God, in today, right now, the God of vengeance, let them receive a double judgment. Double judgment for their actions. My God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we plant the word of God in our lives, in our businesses, and our families in Jesus' mighty name. We reaffirm that the plan of God shall surely come to pass in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The plan of God shall surely come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we put on the shield of faith. We arise in boldness. We take authority in the name of Jesus Christ to declare that we shall not fear of any terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day. Yes, oh God, we know that you stand with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Masiho, I release you again. I push you in the spirit again. Any strange person that has been assigned to waste your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare they shall waste themselves in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare that your destiny shall not be wasted. Your destiny shall not be wasted. Your destiny shall not be wasted, Lirona. I pray for every visa application in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be granted in Jesus' mighty name. Let favor speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. My God, Father, I declare and I decree that everyone's destiny who is represented here, my God, we, re we reject every evil against it in Jesus' mighty name. We reject every evil sacrifice against it. My God, we decree and we declare that no destiny shall be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, every arrow of ignorance that has been prospering in our lives right now, we command it to come out in Jesus' mighty name. We declare and we decree that we are prospering on all sides. In in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. Those of you on Facebook, those of you on YouTube, God bless you. I declare and I decree that your destiny shall not be wasted by the blood of Jesus Christ. Mom Kathy, Brenda, everybody on YouTube, everybody on Facebook, your destiny shall not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. Every destiny waster that is after your destiny right now, the Lord will waste him. Somebody type it in the comment section and say, God, waste my wasters in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is wasting your wasters. My God, any destiny that has been buried, Father God, I command a resurrection to it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command your destiny to hear the words of the Lord to be resurrected in Jesus' mighty name. There shall be no failure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any failure that has been designed against your success, it will be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Glory to the living God. Glory to you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for everybody who has tuned into the broadcast today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for having your way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. You will not die with your potentials inside of you. You will not die with your talent inside of you. God bless you, billionaire. Maria, I pray for your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that every type of restoration that you are believing God for, 
in that communication, you will communicate better with your spouse from today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Mom Sophie. God bless you. I command total perfection in your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for Daniel. Daniel, when you say you lost the baby, do you mean you lost the custody or do you mean like something else happened? So I know which side I'm praying for. Thank you so much, DJ Riziki. God bless everybody. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree you are going from grace to grace in Jesus' mighty name. You are going from grace to grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are going from grace to grace. From grace to grace. Guys, you know we are in the new month, right? We are in the new month. So before I take in your calls and just to greet everybody before we close. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says for everyone who asks, receives. And who who seeks, finds. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the person who knocks and keeps on knocking, the door shall be open. Father, I command in the month of July, as we step in on the 1st of July, Father, we are asking and we will keep on asking. Father, we are knocking on the doors of July. And the doors of July will open for for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and we declare that there shall be an open heaven over the month of July in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We praise you, God, for the covenant of blessing that shall manifest for us. Father, the covenant of peace shall speak for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Every mountain shall be moved for our sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hill shall disappear for our sake, my God, but our your faithful life, God, will be established in us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we command the month of July is our month. The month of our July is going to be our month of perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we receive the spiritual gates and portals of divine wisdom as we step into the month of July. We decree and we declare that the gates of July are open to us in the name of Jesus Christ. The gates of July that speak of promotion, wisdom, and, 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 and everything that is good that you have in store for us. Father, the benefits that you have packaged for us uh, for the month of July. Father God, we take possession of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We step into the portals of wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we receive creative energy for the month of July. We speak, my God, we receive an inspiration in Jesus' mighty name, innovative wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, every God idea to do whatever we are set out to do that will benefit us in the month of July. Father, release it to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, my God, somebody come and prophesy into your month of July. Somebody declare to your month of July, what do you want to see? In the name of Jesus Christ, let your divine wisdom bring us into a supernatural, abundant life as we step in into the month of July. In the month of July, we declare and we decree God that we have favor with God and we have favor with men. We walk in the grace of God. The grace of God shall speak for us every single day in the month of July. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for whoever finds wisdom, finds life and draws forth and obtains Thanks forever from the Lord. Father, we stand on this word and we are drawing our favor from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you have declared, my God, you have granted us life and favor. My God, we thank you for your visitation in the month of July. You are going to visit us. Father, we thank you for divine visitation, divine confirmations in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I decree and I declare that any insecurity, any fear has no place in our lives in the month of July. We are walking with the protection of God. We are walking with the confidence of God in Jesus mighty name my God we will mount up with wings like an eagle my God we are flying high my God we are achieving father what we could not achieve from the month of January up until June father we are thanking you Lord that it will definitely manifest in this second part of the year this second part of the year will be better than the first part of the year in the name of Jesus Christ somebody declare favor into the month of July in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we block and reverse every satanic error in the month of July. We block and reverse every fiery dart that has been released against us in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that in the month of July, this is our month of expansion. This is our season of expansion. We are expanding on all sides in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, we are stepping on fruitful ground. 
My God, Karabashoto Kodia Masoto Kodia Basa. I declare and I decree that the month of July shall hold for you unexpected blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy breakthroughs that are unexpected in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy unexpected testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody. What's happening in your month of July? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Speak into your month. Speak into your month. Speak into your month. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love it. I'm getting a job. I love those testimonies. I love those testimonies. Financial breakthrough is yours in Jesus' mighty name. No more lack in July. Financial breakthrough in Jesus' name. Is it your birth month or your breath month? Sorry, I just read that very fast. I prophesy favor. Month of plenty. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to the 1st of July. Can you congratulate somebody and say, welcome to the best month ever. Welcome to the month of July. You are getting a raise from your boss lady. Father, we ask that you soften that boss lady's heart in Jesus' mighty name. Happy birthday to everybody whose your, your birthday is in July in Jesus' mighty name. God will be actively involved in your life in the month of July like never before. Father, we thank you. Your mercies endure forever over our lives and over our families' lives in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. A permanent job. Business is flourishing. Cecilia, your job has been, has been issued in Jesus' mighty name. Shumi, healing has been settled in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome to July. The devourer is being rebuked for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Mercy will speak for you in July. Abundance will speak for you in July. Restoration of marriages in July. Traveling messes for, for Kwaku. Kwaku. Yes, Kwaku. Yes, it's done. Traveling messes. In Jesus' name. Go get to receive your job in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are grateful as we step in into the month of July. We are getting better jobs. We are getting jobs in Jesus' mighty name. We are getting financial breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. Oh, yes. Just pardon me. I'm trying to sort out a battery issue that might just disappoint us if we don't sort it out fast. I think this is my cue. <laughs> God bless those who are giving. Thank you so much. Just bear with me a bit. I hope I don't drop this thing. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Thank you, Jesus. Divine favor in the month of July. Father, we commit into your hands as many who are trusting in you for a miracle and deliverance even in the month of July. Father, we thank you, Lord, that in every area of our lives we are going to receive the deliverance that we are believing you for in the month of July. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for every single person who is sick, who is afflicted right now. Let your healing hands rest upon them right now in Jesus' name. Every single person who is sick in their body, I pray for them right now. Let your hands rest upon them right now. Upon that sickness, upon lay hands on yourself wherever you are sick, wherever you are feeling pain. Right now, as we are stepping into the month of July, God bless you, Philippine. Thank you for everybody who's joining my team. My name is Fortune L Online. Everybody on Mara Official, please make sure you're also finding me on TikTok. Fortune L Online, Pastor Fortune. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Donald, for, for, for the followers. Everybody who's following, God bless you. 
your lives will never be the same again in Jesus mighty name thank you Jesus divine healing my God divine healing divine healing my God divine healing I speak divine healing. Your glory, your hands will rise and shine. You will not only arise, but you will shine. The glory of the Lord shall be risen upon you. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for those on Facebook as well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy unexpected testimonies to you, Brenda, in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy unexpected testimonies for you, Mom Kathy, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that your healing hand is resting upon mom kathy right now is resting upon sophie right now in jesus mighty name is resting upon every single person oh god we stand in agreement for their healing and their perfection in jesus mighty name father we thank you lord that every form of sickness is banished there is a name that is above every other name we prophesy healing in jesus mighty name Lord, for those who are trusting you for provisions to cater for their needs, my God, let their needs be met. I decree and I declare that your needs shall be met in the month of July and beyond in Jesus' mighty name. For those who are believing you, God, to cater for their health, O oh God, for their educational needs, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, God, that you send them help today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let school fees be paid in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I ask for comfort, O oh God, over as many who have been grieving, O oh God, over any loss or departure of any loved one. Father God, console them in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, I thank you. In this month of July, we will see your evident presence all over us. We will see evident presence of the Lord's presence in our careers, in our families, in everything that we are doing in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I declare the month of July shall favor you. Come on, somebody make, make your amen thunder well. Thunder that amen well. Oh God, hide us. Hide us and our families in the secret pavilion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this month of July, let your holy angels encompass us. Let your holy angels encompass our family members in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them cause us to prosper on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for everybody who's gifting. May God expand your territory. May you never lack in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for every person who has subscribed. I see we've got another subscriber again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for every partner who is partnering with us in this ministry, oh God, who wants to see your work for, move forward, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted that you are even giving me the audience to speak. There is no preacher without an audience or without a congregation. Thank you for trusting me with your spiritual growth. Thank you for letting me speak into your life. And you can know that I'm speaking from a, heart, a, a heartfelt place that believes in God. I want to see you prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. I declare July is your month of favor in Jesus' mighty name. Father, everywhere they go this month, oh God, your holy angels will protect them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The Lord is going to fortify you. The Lord is going to fortify your family with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You are protected. The hedge of protection has been rebuilt. The hedge of protection is protecting you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He's going to hide you under his wings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The month of July, the Lord will pursue your enemies for you. You shall pursue, you shall overtake, you shall recover all. The Lord will make sure that all the spoils come back into your ground in Jesus' mighty name. Your household will never lack of any good thing while the Syrians are busy squandering. No, 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 no. You are going to go into the Syrian camp and you're going to get what you need in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever horn is trying to rise against you, those horns will be, will be annihilated in Jesus' mighty name. You will will lift up your head. You will be the first person to lift up your head in your family if needs be in Jesus' mighty name. But the horns, the four horns shall not speak against you in Jesus' mighty name.
There's a lady called Anna. Anna, you have been praying to God for a car. And yes, it is coming. And I know that you are the first one in your family to have it. In Jesus' mighty name, may you be located at the right place at the right time. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody who's coming in and it's your first time seeing me, my name is Fortune and I'm from South Africa. Pastor Fortune on TikTok, Fortune L online on all social media handles. Hallelujah. Make sure you give me a follow. You are welcome to send me your testimonies. Inbox them, write them on my on my videos. If you want to join the WhatsApp group, there is a barcode there where, that you can scan on one of my videos that are pinned. And you'll be notified every time we come online. I'm live every single day, 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. For one hour, one glorious hour of power. Where we release protocol breaking prayers. Come on, talk to me somebody. I want to be your prayer partner. Let's intercede. Let's do this thing. God bless you, Daniel. Thank you for everybody following. Thank you for those who are also following on Mara Official. Don't forget to follow there. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord shall restore everything that the devil has stolen from you in the month of July. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak to your finances and I speak to your businesses right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, thank you. Thank you for increase. Somebody, come on, all the business people, all the people who are entrepreneurs right now, this is your moment, this is your season. I want you to pray and say, Lord, thank you for my finances. Thank you for the business that you have allocated to me. Thank you, Lord, that I will see your evidence and your presence in my business, my God. Thank you, Lord, for the profit that I will be making in the month of July. You're going to make you... I'm not even hearing double, I'm hearing triple. Whatever you made in the month of June, you will triple it in the month of July. In Jesus' mighty name, you will make profit. I, I need you to prophesy and you declare that you're going to expand. Your business is going to expand. More customers are coming. Profit is coming. Guys, these things, money is a voice. Money has a voice. Money is a defense. You need to speak to it. You need to call it. I call money forth. It's coming forth to me. It's coming from the north, the east, the west, and the south. Wherever my customers are coming, they are coming. My God, as they are coming, I will profit in my business. My bills are paid. I do not owe anybody. I am not a slave to anybody. I don't have to take out loans. I will pay all the salaries in due time, in due season, in, G in Jesus' mighty name. Nobody shall lack in Jesus' mighty name. My employees are loyal and they are faithful. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my business shall be excellent. Everything about your business shall exude excellency in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray over our finances, even the personal finances, in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome from Jamaica, in Jesus' mighty name. I declare and I decree that the devourer is rebuked for your sake as you align yourself with the principles of the word of God as you continue to serve the Lord with your substance as well in Jesus mighty name. I declare and I decree for your sake every evil that was meant to attack your finances is brought to an end right now in Jesus mighty name. This month, I speak a bountiful harvest over your business and over your finances. I speak a bountiful harvest over your business and, and over your finances in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak a bountiful harvest over your finances and your business in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I declare you are moving from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Your business is moving from glory to glory. Your business and your finances are moving from glory to glory. I unseat any person that is sitting on your promotion seat. In Jesus' mighty name, you are moving from glory to glory. You are moving in a dimension of promotions. In Jesus' mighty name. Promotion is calling your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Come on, thank him. All gratitude belongs to you in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak protection. I speak forgiveness for those of you who have been struggling with forgiving other people because I don't want anything to hold you back. Anastasia, I speak forgiveness in your heart. May the Lord help you to find forgiveness in your heart. You will not be hindered in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of unforgiveness, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. 
If you need to repent from unforgiveness, repent now in Jesus' name. I speak provision. I speak provision in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Yasanda Kiala Lama Soto Korea Bashata Kadiama Roshanda Liaba Korea Masoto Korea Masata Kadiama Satakada Rashonda Dodododobo Siala Lama Sakariama Shata Rabasa. Thank you, Jesus. Is it no Zuko? No Zuko. No Zuko. Tepang, I command the spirit of depression to leave you now in Jesus' mighty name. I command the spirit of depression to leave you now. Father, I thank you for Prophetess Morrison in Jesus' mighty name. May you expand her territory and expand her ministry. I prophesy global, 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 global relevance. May you make her a renowned name and name to be remembered, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Everybody who is going for surgery or has just come back from surgery, you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to those evil altars. I command those evil altars to loose you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for confirming. Thank you, Tinian. That depression is gone in Jesus' name. Oh, Kareabasata Kadiamaso to do 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, everybody, make sure that you give me a follow. I'm about to close off the broadcast on YouTube and Facebook. Those of you on Facebook and YouTube, you're welcome to come and jump on, on Fortune L online on TikTok while I just greet the people and I'm going to sign out because we still have a session at 5 a.m., okay? You know, we do, our date is our date at 5 a.m. So I'm going to take like an hour break just to rest my voice and we're going to be back um, soon. We'll be back at 5 a.m., which will be like in two hours, unless people want to continue to pray. <laughs> but I'll be back in an hour's time at 5 a.m. So I'm just going to do calls. We'll just see how it goes, but we'll be here. But I'm going to just give 30 minutes just to greet some people and hear some testimonies as well and tell me how this meeting has impacted you as well. May the Lord console you for your loss in Jesus' mighty name. My condolences. Thank you, Prudence. God bless you. Aha. I speak favor into your life, Nozuko. Happy, thank you so much. I, I speak a marital settlement in your life in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, everybody, on Facebook and on YouTube. We meet again at 5 a.m., in the morning at 5 a.m there's gonna be another dimension that the lord is going to release at 5 a.m remember our maximum time and 5 a.m is one hour one one hour 30 minutes but for one hour we are going to be back together and i'm gonna listen to more testimonies in jesus mighty name joshua from ghana may the lord grant you grace to travel in the name of jesus christ God bless you. YouTube, Facebook, come jump quickly on TikTok, okay? God bless you. I love you so much. You're awesome.